Hello, it's Wednesday again. Apologies for the late start. Uh, I had a very exciting technical thing where um, the streaming software just would not start. Would not begin when I pressed start. Couldn't work out what it was. Couldn't work it out. Um, to cut a long story short, um, I then noticed there wasn't any room left on the C drive of the computer. I thought, well, that's odd, because there should be plenty of room. And then I realised, hang on, and I went into the settings, and at some point it had defaulted to saving the bloody um, recordings of all the live streams to the C drive of the computer, not to the massive data drive where it should be going. So it completely filled the fucking C drive up and couldn't record anymore. <laughs> so as soon as I realised that and moved some files, things became a lot easier. Uh, James Moore 92. I got a really good book about um, shot on VHS horror films the other day, and I can't remember the name of it. Damn. I would get it and tell you, but it's in the office. Curses. Ah, oh, dear. Anyway, the good news is um, <laughs> I might have some room to install something else in the future. But also, my Amiga is now fixed. I know, right? I know. And also the um, external drives have all been um, sorted out. So, all good. All good. Finally, I can go in and start... Well, in theory, I can go and start bloody imaging some of these rare Amiga things I've got. In reality, you put the disc in, the disc's fucked. So, um, yeah, you know what that's like. Anyway, the grease squeeze will arrive soon, so it's all relevant. But that's not the point. So, bloody Keith... He hates the Atari ST he filmed currently for no reason. He only ever had a Nintendo. Um, hello again. So, yes, this evening, the quiz will be... I got quite Atari ST'd up last time. I thought, I've got my Amiga fix today. And for some reason it made me think, what games were released on Atari ST that weren't released on Amiga? There are precious few Atari ST exclusive games. And frankly, they tend to be a bit naff. Um... Because it was at that period where, basically, if it came out on the ST, it came out on something else as well. Um, and generally, your Amiga version was a bit better. Or had better music, at least. Mm, I don't know. I mean, often, unfortunately, the Amiga just ended up with an ST port. And sometimes a bit hit and miss. But the thing is, there were several games, many of which you might have heard of. Might. Um, that were re released um, for the ST, but not the Amiga. So that is what we shall be looking at this evening. Mm. See, Zach T. Duck, technically, Midi Maze came out of the Game Boy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, it was called something called Faceball 2000 or something there, so yeah, you can get away with it. Um, oh, Gristle McNerd says, I grew up with my dad's ST, but he had like three games. Oh. Well, poor old Dave. He's had, Dave, according to his uh, message he sent me, Dave has caught uh, some, something like 11 or 12 trains today. Ooh, horrendous. Oh my god, I did not know Midi Maze almost came out in the Virtual Boy. That would work really well on the Virtual Boy, apart from the headaches and the motion sickness. Oh, Ballet Dude, yes. Uh, I got Dave's message about that. Thank you very much indeed. Um, yeah, I think you're right. The processing, I think, is like for if you're playing them online, isn't it? So um, that's great. I shall grab those, and we might watch those on stream at some point. Actually, I don't think there's any might about it. We will get round to it at some point. Um, right. I think that's it, isn't it? Yes. In that case, there's only one thing for it. Time for some admin. Thank you very much to Daxtron. 28 months. Thank you very much indeed. Did you know gaming? I did, you know. But now I know it more from watching your very informative videos. Thank you, Daz. 39 months. Chad Adjective, 19 months. And Crucible 1, 35 months. Please get better soon, Daz. Daz is a bit under the weather at the moment. He's been uh, eating things that are out of date. Don't know where he got them from. Don't blame me. No, he's not. Good. He's genuinely quite under the weather, so get well soon, mate. Uh, SJ Parters, 20 months. Thank you very much. Um, so, story time.
That was not story time. <laughs> So it's fucking good timing there. It's been a, a very long time since the Dancing Monster has come up with perfect timing. So uh, there we are. The random nature is good. Oh, that's reminded me. We haven't had Dave's song yet. Hello, Dave. Ich habe zehn Finger und zwei Hände. Ich habe zehn Finger, zwei Hände und zwei Arme. Ich habe zehn Finger, zwei Hände, zwei Arme und zwei Schultern. Still the only German I know, literally. Right, apart from Achtung der Spitfarschweinhund, but that does not come in handy during general conversation. Right, what was story time? I've bloody forgotten now. Oh yes, that was it. So, uh, when we were cleaning out my dad's house, a friend helped me, and we discovered a cupboard full of old bottles of booze, which hadn't been drunk for 400 years, as you do in old people's houses. And um, I said, well, just take any of them you want. He's like, oh, brilliant, right? It took like eight bottles or something, and things that look half decent. They ended up in my office. Uh, last week, we thought we should try some of the bottles. Um, so out of, I can't remember exactly how many uh, bottles of alcohol, they were all rancid except one. I can't believe this because, like, some of them were like spirits. They shouldn't really go off. Every time we were checking on fucking Google and saying things like, um, there was one bottle left over this week, actually, was what reminded me. It was uh, unopened, dry martini, so just dry vermouth. And it was a relatively new bottle, actually. It wasn't covered in dust like all the others. <laughs> and uh, took the top off. Smell, uh, smell, smell sort of all right, yeah. Um, looked it up on Google, and Google said, Yes, I think I'll find dry vermouth. Never actually uh, goes off, is, was the consensus. Because, of course, it's very high alcohol content. All that will happen is, over time, it will actually become more alcoholic. And you're like, oh, okay. No, that is not what happened. It tasted, I took a sip, and it tasted faintly of nut. Uh, my good friend Mickey G of this very parish tried a little bit more than I did. And was genuinely feeling quite unwell afterwards. It was not good. Um, yeah, th th there shouldn't be a nutty taste to it. It was it was very wrong. Yet, yeah, absolutely useless. Every single thing was rancid. And it was all stuff you would not expect to be rancid. It's just very odd. Very odd. Um, the only thing that's drinkable out of there, this well, is possibly... A bottle of um, amaretto. We're not quite sure about that. That seems all right, which I don't quite understand. It's creamy, isn't it? Um, and there's some vodka. Rachmaninoff vodka, which I've never even heard of. And it's it seems all right, but it's completely tasteless. So maybe just over time, it's lost its taste. Um, I was expecting this to be a very rough, sort of uh, low-grade vodka. It was actually kind of all right in that sense. But there we are. Ah, well, that was... Outdated comestibles news. I know Ashen's fans everywhere enjoy that. Hello, Bird's Eye. Hello, Noir Pardo. Hello, folks. I hope you're all as well. Um, I must say, Bird's Eye, very jealous of your um, Hero Quest containing foam. I may have to um, look into this myself. That's a very good idea. Uh, in fact, I do you know, I sent somebody the other day, and it's just arrived, I believe. A complete vintage set of Hero Quest. I discovered I had so many parts left over from building mine. I actually had enough for a second set. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Noir says alcohol can really go off bad. My grandfather had a duffel bag full of Waka beer from years ago. Ooh, Canadian. We found cleaning out his basement. My brother chugged back a can and instantly vomited. Oh. Oh, God. Well, you laugh about the cyanide, Amiga Square. I was genuinely worried for a second after the nutty taste of the uh, martini. <laughs> but I didn't die, so it's all good. Rhea says, would you buy mask figures if Hasbro put them in G.I. Joe Classified or so much? I don't know. They don't have as cooler designs to me as, like, the Cobra figures from G.I. Joe. But if they were reduced or it's one I particularly liked, then yes. I mean, Miles Mayhem is an amazing design. I'd go for that. Um... There has been a Matt Tracker figure in the G.I. Joe range, the um, three three quarter one. Um, Specialist Tracker, I think it was called. And I think they did another version when they were doing their box set of um, trying to put together the sort of Hasbro cinematic universe that never happened. 
Um, they had a lot of stuff in there, and there was a Matt Tracker in that. But it was a different Matt Tracker. It was the Matt Tracker from the comics, where he's a black guy, because they noticed that Duke and from G.I. Joe and Matt Tracker from Mask look exactly the fucking same. Like, <laughs> they're the same fucking person. They're like, if they're going to be in a universe, we need to seriously make these look different. Um, which was probably a good plan. Not such a good plan was trying to seriously make a cinematic universe featuring Transformers, Rom the Space Knight, Visionaries, Micro... Micronauts? Was it? Yeah, Micronauts. And, um... I mean, how can you get visionaries in this and mask? I mean, mask and transformers, you can kind of get in. Maybe you rob the space knight, actually. And Action Man was in there, too. Of course he was. Oh, and G.I. Joe, of course. Oh, my God. Enough. Enough. Right. Ugh. Narmado said it was beer from Poland. Oh, shit. He immigrated to Canada. He only said the beer probably came with him as he never went to Poland and so immigrated and married Grandma. Bloody hell. Ancient Polish beer. That sounds like the sort of um, word you'd have to type in in a capture, actually, doesn't it? Right then. Chad Jective says, been rewatching the Mask episodes lately. It's hypnotic with the repeating plot points. You got to series three yet where they just give up on all the espionage stuff and just have races. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, God. Right. We'd better get on with the bloody quiz then, hadn't you, folks? Yep. Oh, the ancient Jubilee Ale, Grand Barrett, yes. I've got some more ancient ale. It's, um, what's it called? Pisswasser, the um, beer from Grand Theft Auto. There was like a some sort of promotional one they did once, and somebody gave me a bottle. So that's knocking around. Might have that with the goth juice one day. We'll see. Uh, Daz Alien Geek says, pew, pew, pew. That's what caught my attention. I knew the YouTube thing wasn't easy, but wow. I just finished a 10-minute detailed review stroke mini documentary video on the UK exclusive of the Kenner Space Marine Vazquez figure. Doesn't sound like much, but after writing the script, recording, capturing the footage, doing the music and editing, I feel like I've worked many shifts. It's hard work in every sense of the word. Yep, that's why I just talk about shit in front of a sofa. Yeah. The Kenner Space Marine Vazquez figure. Ooh, didn't know that was UK exclusive. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Series 2 is the Racers Ballet, dude. It's depressing, he says, we're trying to get through. Shit, Series 2. So there was only one series of the actual stories. Holy shit. Oh, God. Did you know gaming says, my life. Thank you, I feel seen. Ah, oh, did you know gaming don't put any effort? Honestly, these things write themselves. They just turn their computer on and little gremlins come out and research video games for hours, uh, record footage of incredibly obscure video games, uh, write the script, do uh, really high quality uh, voiceover stuff and then sync it all together. It's just, it's just the goblins. It's always the goblins. Mental note. Must stop drinking that out of date wine when I'm in the office. Right. Do I have any Billy Billy beer? Christ almighty, come on, salute. Frank. Even I've heard of that. I can't remember what it is, but I have heard of it. Um, a lot of people in chat wanting X-Bomber merch. Or decent figures. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Clockwork says, I've just opened a parcel and it's the Time Lord's Handbook. A hint book for Time Bandit. Oh man, Time Bandit on ST is massively beloved. Um... Yeah, I've, I've never properly played Time Bandit, but my God, people like that a lot. It must be good. It must be good. Right, enough of this japery. We must, 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 must quiz it on up. If not, people will know slightly less about Atari ST games than they would have done otherwise. And that cannot be sanctioned. Right, we should have an intro or something. But before we do, I will mention that if you want to play along at home, remember... You must, I repeat, must give QuizKit permission to know where you're clicking on your screen and therefore which answer you have given. Unless you want to play along in your mind. You don't have to do anything for that. Uh, you can do this by moving your mouse pointer or your finger over to the right-hand side of your screen or device or whatever and clicking on the QuizKit logo. And there we are. Have I seen the nice Die X models? Coming? I know very little about it, to be honest, but I've never seen it. It's not something I have any... Uh, 
nostalgia more for you. Dave Dog is all ST games. All Atari ST games. Specifically, Atari ST games that were not released on the Amiga. Daz, mate, there's the one for Did You Know Gaming. Look, everybody's favourite subject. That'd get all the views. Atari ST games that weren't released on the Amiga. <laughs> Oh my god. Could you imagine that? In in a way, it would be interesting, but in another way, no fucker would watch it, would they? Anyway, enough of this, J. Pri. As I say, we must begin the quiz. And the quiz will begin... Uh, fuck it, let's have the intro. Do it now! And now, from Norwich... It's the Quiz of the Week! The sacrifice has been made. Jimmy has given his life so that me we may quiz. That would have been better if I'd been able to say it correctly. Right then. Um, I suppose I should warn you about this quiz. Something very specific that you've probably guessed, but we'd better confirm it. Yes. God, that cuts off quickly, that one, doesn't it? Um, the last two questions are bastards. Um, well, question 11 is just very difficult, I feel. Mainly because it was an Atari ST game. An Atari ST exclusive, there's a rarity, that I didn't, hadn't even heard of myself. I mean, that's fucking rare, especially from the time period it came out. And question 12 is just an absolute bastard, and I apologise in advance. Right then. <laughs> Hello, Dan. How you doing, mate? Oh, this is going to be a one. Quickly, music. That's the stuff. Hang on, where's my music? There we are. Oh, God, now it's too late. Bloody hell. There we are. That looks about the right level. Well, that was good. Your music comes in late, then it's too loud. Dearie me. Right then. As has been said, Atari ST games that were not released on the Commodore Amiga, which is surprisingly few. Surprisingly few. Okay. Let's get the old quiz kid thing up. And readiness will occur. Right, I'm going to throw the rules over to your stream now and also explain them to you using words. And these words are this. What's going to happen is there's going to be 12 questions. And, well, each question has four potential answers you will be shown. You want to be clicking on the correct answer. Doing so will get you points. And the quicker you click, the more points you will get. However, should you click on an incorrect answer, you will have points taken away from you. Taken out the back and shot. So not answering if you're not sure. That can be something of a good strategy. However, if you don't answer all the questions, you are very unlikely to finish in the top 15. So there we are. As ever, the choice is yours. The questions take the format of, there will be a screenshot on the screen, you just click on the name of the game the screenshot is from. <laughs> yeah, I say just, it's not that bloody easy, to say the least. Uh, Bean German 2, about three weeks ago I became convinced that Cow Postman was an Atari ST game, because my friend who had it, and me both had STs before we had Amigas, then I remembered Barry had it, and Barry only had Amigas, so, uh... Ah, bloody Cow Postman. We're going to find it one day. Occasionally I just get emails from people who played it, but nobody... Ever... Well, somebody did have a copy, but the disc had been wiped for saved games for something else. That was a bad day. Anyway, 
Enough of Cow Postman. That is nothing to do with this quiz. This quiz, which I'm sending the rules over to you now, which you've already seen because I've spoken to you, but you know how it works. Right. Okay, folks. I'm going to get question one up on the screen nice and early because we like everyone to give question one a correct answer. Now, I should point out, because we like everyone to get question one correct, there is a bit of a visual clue as to the name of this game in the screenshot. It's subtle, but it is there. JD Amato, are you discounting games with homebrew Amiga ports? Ah, you mean like the first gauntlet? Um, I want to say yes, but there may be ones I'm not aware of. So probably is my answer to that. I can make no promises. Right. Void and Sandy says, is Cow Postman a postman who is a cow? He is a postman who is a cow. But to be fair, you only see houses in the game. You don't know who he's delivering to, so maybe he's delivering to other cows. We just don't know. Here's question one. What game could this be? Hmm. Maybe it's called Radars. Oh, Nerd Owl, no chance. It was, it was as homebrew as it comes. The music I discovered years later is, is literally just a ripped module from the Postman Pat game on Amiga. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, that should have given me a hint it wasn't ST as well. Oh, anyway. I'll give you a hint. The game is not called 65. It's already a game for that 65 film. They work quick these days. Unfortunately, for some reason, they've only released on the ST. Oh my god. The Moondella effect. Mentus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That, that was a pun even I couldn't quite. Um, no, I was about to do my own. No, I'm not going to get involved with this. <laughs> Right. Looks like a lot of colours for an ST. There's 16 Enigma 776. The trick to making an ST game look really good is often to play with a lot of greys. Blue is good as well. You sometimes use sort of grey as intermediate blue. But yeah. Okay. Your ST had a monochrome monster. Oh my god, Golga Fringe and Bark. Yeah. I've got a monochrome monitor in the office, but I've literally just holding on to it for somebody else because I will never use it. Other than to turn the machine on occasionally with it plugged in and just go, my God, the contrast is amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's all about the dithering. Did you know, Gary? I tell you what, Daz, in the early days of ST, it was awful because all the graphics were often just taken from like the Spectrum version and colorized. Things like um, Trantor, the last Stormtrooper, is an amazing example of that. It just looks... Oh, awful. Also, Trantor had an ST version that wasn't released on Amiga. Could have been in this quiz. Now I'm really hoping it isn't. No, I didn't put it in, did I? No, I didn't. Didn't even take a screenshot. There we are. Okay. I am going. Oh, no, you're fine, Gingy23. We haven't started yet. We are going to be starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What is this game? Is it? Army moves, navy moves, arctic moves, or movie moves. Army moves, navy moves, arctic moves, or movie moves. Do you know Arcturus Deluxe, the old hold and modify mode? We've seen a few games of the Assassin's Discs that use it. One of them worked at a decent rate. Amazing. It probably flickered like a bastard, but you know. So, interestingly, I didn't know this game existed until this quiz. I only knew of army moves and the sequel navy moves. But no, there was a third. Arctic moves, because, you know, it's quite obviously this. It's got the name in the bottom left-hand corner. 231 of you, absolutely correct. Good work. Um, yeah, nobody particularly went for the others. I can see why. Do you know, it occurs to me I've never played any of the moves games. We should have a move special stream where we just go through all the versions of them and regret our life choices. Right, scores. Quick stuff of the mark. 
was contestant 368, then contestant 326, then Tigra. Remember, the names will load in after a few questions. Lucky 100, Rich Davison. Total scores? Wait for it. <gasps> it's irrelevant, because first question will be the same as the people who answered quickest, won't it? So we should just look at question two. Hmm. Hmm. Looking quite arcade accurate there. Exciting fact, there is no official release of this game for the Spectrum, although an official conversion was made, but it was never released. It has been leaked, and it is really good. Oh, Damnation Alley, the game, lads. Um, I've still got a Blu-ray copy of Damnation Alley I've not got around to. Oh, my God. Probably said this before, but there was a shop in Norwich used to sell... Um, movie memorabilia, and they inexplicably had a model of the Landmaster, I think it's called, from Damnation Alley in the Window. It appears in several other films as well. Right. You've all seen this game. Many of you will recognise this game. Tell me the name of this game. Is it Moon Patrol, Lunar Jetman, Jeep Command, or Breakthrough? Moon Patrol, Lunar Jetman, Jeep Command, or Breakthrough? Near the market, asked because... Yeah, kind of near the market, just off St. Benedict's. Opposite Circular Sound. Well, the road it was on is opposite Circular Sound. Right near Cinema City. So, it's Moon Patrol, isn't it? <laughs> 176 of you, yes. 19 went for Lunar Jetman, which totally is a game. Very good game, actually. Jeep Command is also a game. A uh, Commodore 64 game, if I recall. Can't remember anything about it. Breakthrough is also a game. Uh, not particularly good arcade game. With some absolutely dog shit home conversions. One of them has a bug where if you press jump right as the game starts, you just jump through the entire game and are completely immune to all damage. So literally, if you jump as the game starts, it just turns into a rolling demo of background that you win, apparently. I think that might be the C64 version, not sure. Anyway, it's rubbish. Scores. Quicks of the mark, 180 Enforcer, then contestant 100, then contestant 109. Lucky 100, Gristle McNerd. But overall, 180 Enforcer is in the lead above contestant 333 and contestant 184. Let's hope those names have loaded in for the next one. Mm. Right, question number three. Ooh, is that a tank in red? I think it is. A very vectory tank. The designer of Moon Patrol, Moon Control, Patrol, went on to create the original Street Fighter, says Metz. My god. I did not know that. Rufus Omega, Endor isn't the moon. Endor is the planet that the moon's around, isn't it? I thought it was the moon of Endor. Or does that mean the moon is called Endor? Ooh, interesting. Anyway, bloody e box. Bum, bum, bum. Right, so some radar at the top, and enemies in range. There's scores. There's crosshairs. It's Endor's Forest Moon. Forest Moon of Endor. Yes, it does that mean it's... It could mean it's called Endor, or... It, I always interpreted it as being it's the forest moon around the planet Endor, and it doesn't actually have its own name. That's a good point, Spike Blue. If there's the forest moon, are there also ice moons and other sorts of moons? Ah, the candy moon of Endor. Right. Cinnamon Robin says, Wikipedia says it's the moon of a planet called Endor, but is also called Endor itself. <laughs> Everyone was right, folks. <laughs> Good God. Right, anyway... I'm going to ask you what this bloody game is, 
and hopefully you'll tell me. Is this game... Battle Zone, Silent Service, 3D Combat, or Tank Attack? Battle Zone, Silent Service, 3D Combat, or Tank Attack? I'll tell you a good game with tanks. Brain damage for the ZX Spectrum. I don't know why it's called brain damage. We've got tanks, but there we are. I don't know anything about the Split Pad Pro, Stewie. I think I've heard of it, but I can't even picture it. Right. <laughs> we will never talk of that film, Mentus. I keep trying to rewatch it, and I just can't bring myself to do it. Um. This is the 3D Vector Tank one. Silent Service is about... Um, well, interestingly, Silent Service was on ST and not on Amiga. Ooh, but it's a, a submarine game. 3D Combat. Well, there's combat with tanks for the Atari 2600. I just put 3D in front of it. Tank Attack. There's probably a game called Tank Attack. I don't know. I made it up. This is Battle Zone. 143 of you correct. Very good. Very good. What was the sequel to Battle Zone? Was it Battle Command? Hmm. Apparently Endor has an ocean moon called Kef Beer. Oh, that has its own name, of course. Jiggle Namicon, by the way. Thank you very much for your sub there, 13 months. Are we up to date with the admin? Did I mention Nostalris? New, um... I'm not, sorry, Nostalaris, say it correctly. New sub there, thank you very much. Pesh42, 19 months. Daxtron, gifting the sub to a girl, the girl with the dragon 32. Right. Silent Service. There was a sequel, wasn't there, Simon Steve? I've forgotten about that. Yeah, the sequel was on um, ST and Amiga. That's the one I'm more familiar with. Mm. There's a 1998 Battle Zone with a sequel called Battle Zone 2 Combat Code. Oh. Right, anyway. Scores. We learned that Contestant 88 was quickest off the mark. Then 180 Enforcer, then Tin Man UK 79. Lucky 100, our Fred W. Total scores, though. 180 and Forza still in the lead overall. Contestant 333 second and Oz Hoops Drek third. Right. Question number the fourth. Hmm. Hmm. Lots of stairs. Mazurka Gurka. Thank you very much for your sub there. Welcome. Bear stairs. <laughs> That's what this should have been called, being jamming to. Oh, I'm quite glad you said that, Pajaco, because uh, I'm glad that wasn't just me, frankly. That is it. You are correct, Ashley Needle, yeah. I feel like there must have been like a homebrew version of this from Nico. Let me have a look. No, there wasn't. There really wasn't. Huh. Well, bloody hell. Okay, that's weird. I've discovered there's a game I've never heard of called Crystal Palace for the Vega, but looking at it, it looks really familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the same people who wrote Crazy Sue from the... Oh, okay. <clears throat> Meanwhile, back at the quiz. So, you've looked at it long enough. You've seen the trees of the tree wave. Now you merely need to tell me... <sighs> what game is this? Is this game... Quasatron, Crystal Castles, Spin Dizzy, or Marble Madness? Quasatron, Crystal Castle, Spin Dizzy, Marble Madness. <laughs> Your time to shine, Jaunty's Corner. <laughs> Nightmare or Dream, Mensky. 
I think this is what he was jonesing for the whole time he was with Jeffrey. Right then. Quasitron is like a sort of isometric version of Paradroid, basically. It's kind of great. I remember playing it quite a bit on the Spectrum. It's not this. Spin Dizzy is similar to this. It ain't this. Marble Madness is this. This is the one with the bear. It's Crystal Castles. And the ST version, as Pajaka mentioned, is basically unplayably fast. I always find it unplayably fast, didn't they? Hmm. But 135 of you knew this was correct. 26 went for Spin Dizzy. 24 went for Quasitron. 21 went for Marble Madness. And now we show scores to learn that a lousy green 250 t-shirt <laughs> was quickest off the mark. An amazingly hard quick mark there. Tigu 3 second, Ryo Gazuki third. Lucky 100, Bean Jammin 2. Total scores though, 180 for Enforcer. Still enforces a lead above Tigu 3 and Manumanumanumanum. Right. I suppose we'd better look at question five. Oh God, it's this. The game where you're probably not going to get out of the second room. Little clue for you. A game with an identical name was released on Amiga. Oh, I don't know if there was an ST version of that. I think there was. Hang on. It's going to annoy me now. All the buttons. Here we go. Yes, there was. There was an ST version of the other game with this name. <laughs> really, Mindy says, had this an Amstrad, would have been great if the first puzzle wasn't so obtuse. It is terrible. Absolutely terrible. A ridiculous first puzzle. Nobody gets past the second bloody screen. Oh. Oh. What well, things are the things they could have done with this game? Oh. Anyway. There's more insta kills in this bloody game than Chrono Quest 2. I'm lying. There's no more insta kills in any game than Chrono Quest 2. Right. Enough of this. You just need to tell me what it is. Ooh. Good luck. What Tom says, yeah, this was cunting shitballs. I'm saying that out loud because um, I don't want to allow that through the filter just in case. <laughs> right, here we go. What game be this? Is it Nightmare, The Crystal, Chur Curse of the Enchantress, or Spellbound? Nightmare, The Crystal, Curse of the Enchantress, or Spellbound? Right, bear with me. I'm going to copy some data to somebody before I bloody forget. Incidentally, uh, not relevant to this, but as people have been asking, just got in the footage for the um, Norwich Gaming Festival talk, so that will be up at some point. There we are. Up. Done. Right. So, this is a game. Well, let's actually let's go through them. Spellbound was a Cedex Spectrum game. It ain't this. Curse of the Enchantress and the Crystal were both on Amiga. Um, I have a feeling the Crystal was Amiga only, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I remember buying a copy and hating all the instant death puzzles. Curse of the Enchantress is a game point and click with such beautiful graphics. Absolutely beautiful graphics and shite puzzles. It's no fun and it makes me sad. So, so sad. Also, as you go into our office, on the right-hand side, there is a boxed copy of Curse of the Enchantress. I don't know who owns it. It's probably Peter's. Anyway. Nightmare it is, based 
on the Mighty TV Show. 91 of you correct. And there was a second game based on the TV show that was basically captive, but fantasy, if you know the game captive. And frankly, had nothing to do with Nightmare whatsoever. They just shoehorned in a picture of Treyguard, and that was a lot. And I think the Fright Knights appear as enemies near the end of the game. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Ryu Kazuki is now so addicted to the AI steamed hams thing. I'm even listening to it on the Bluetooth mic. I've um, demanded myself, well, I've, I've basically banned myself from listening to it for a few days because, uh, yeah, it gets a bit much, but it's so funny, Mr. Sir. Right, scores. Quicks on the mark. Hugh Janus, 88. Then 180 Enforcer, then Clockwork. Lucky 100, Tigu 3. Total scores, though. 180 Enforcer in the lead above Clockwork and... Curse of the Enchantress or Lure of the Temptress? Oh, shit! Now you've said that, I'm thinking it's Lure of the Temptress. Oh. I think it might be Lure of the Temptress, Omega Square. Yeah, I think it's a DOS copy. Um, is there even a game called Curse of the Enchantress? Have I made that up? Bloody hell. Oh well. You learn something every day. I was very unlikely to get a screenshot of that one, wasn't I? Okie doke. Curse of Enchantia. That's what I'm thinking of. I've mutated the two in my memory, yeah. Right then. Yeah, it's definitely a copy of Lure of the Temptress in that case, and the grounds the other one isn't a thing. Right then. Let's have a look at question number the sixth. God, I played this for some hours. I think this turned up on one of the discs we were looking at last time, actually. Atari ST users in the UK will know which disc we mean. <laughs> That's the one, Northeast Recluse. Yep. Worst game box I ever. Well, one of my most beloved. I do not have this game's cover in my office. I need to get an American copy of this, actually. I think it might be the best automation disc. Like, genuinely, Mentus. There's so many good games there. Whereas later on, the games were bigger and they just couldn't fit as many on. So even if they were really great, you'd only get, like, two at maximum, wouldn't you? Radical. Extreme to the max. And other phrases. It's not Vicky Pollard, Cyb Steve. <laughs> right. We always... This was a question which has come up before, Film Canary. If the things through the window are buildings far away or weird robots. We're pretty sure they're buildings further away. No, I'm not going to say anymore in case it gives it away, but, um, yeah. Oh, this game's great, Rufus of Vega. It genuinely is. It doesn't look much, but it plays really well. This is a nice version of it as well. Okie doke. Please, friends, tell me which bloody game is this. Is this game Atomic Runner, Cycross, Metrocross, or Adventure Race? Atomic Runner, Cycross, Metrocross, or Adventure Race? Shockwave Rider. My god, there's a blast from the past. G12345. A lot of decapitations in that game for no reason. Well, let's see what people have come up with. Shall we go through them first? Yeah, let's do that. Atomic Runner is the sort of other name? Or is it just part of the name of Chelnorf? I can't remember. It's not this game. It's very different. Cycross is a game, and I can't remember what it's like. So that uh, really helps everybody. And Adventure Race is something I made up by putting the word race instead of island on the NES version of Wonder Boy. Yep, this is Metrocross. 116 of you. Correct. 35 went for Atomic Runner, but no. This is totally Metrocross. 
And a very bloody good version it is too. One of these things where I think I enjoy it more. Oh yeah. Looking at the arcade version, they are supposed to be buildings, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I preferred this version to the bloody arcade one after playing the arcade. I think because this is a bit easier, to be honest, though, so maybe that's not a good reason. But it's true. Right. I think we should uh, probably show the scores then, shouldn't we? Who was correct? The quickest. It was High Prawny, then 180 Enforcer, then Namco. It's Lucky 100, and Wild the Russ appears. But total scores 180 Enforcer still in the lead, getting a little bit of a lead above and Clockwork. What's an acceptable amount of decapitations? Three every five minutes. I think we all know that. Sure. Right. We get the next question up. It's question seven. We've reached over the halfway point. Look at that little man in his tiny green hat in the bottom right hand corner. Oh, grumpy old milk. So I have a story about Metro Cross. I'd asked for skate or die for Christmas, and my mom, unable to find it, got Metro Cross because it had a skateboard on it. Oh. Tell you what, though, if you were looking at the. If you owned the same machines I had, Metro Cross was a better game, so hey. Yeah. Yeah, they were sticking to the rules for that. Mentors. It's about the only thing they did stick to. Right. Yeah, I know. I know, right? Same disc. <laughs> there was another one I could have put on as well. Ooh, the no, that was from a different disc, actually, now I think. No, I think. Let's check. Hmm. Right. Good game, this, if you like your arcadey puzzles. We played a clone of this on an Assassin's Disc once. Useless bit of information for you. Right. You've all seen it. It's got squares. It's got dragons in the background. It's got a spooky ghost thing. It's got a little green man wearing a little green hat. But what game is it? <clears throat> is it... Curace, Fire and Ice, Spherical, or Solomon's Key? Curas, Curace, not sure how to pronounce that. Fire and Ice, Spherical, or Solomon's Key. We'd say Curas. There was a sequel to Skate or Die called Ski and Die. Haven't thought of that for a while. I certainly am, Ashley Nido. Kind of technically with two of them. <laughs> so I'm interested to see how you go for this. Curas is not even a game, I don't think. It's just something I put in there as a random word. It's uh, basically like a sort of chest armor. Fire and ice. We'll come back to. Spherical looks a lot like this, but was released on the Amiga. In fact, I don't even know if I got an ST version of the Spherical. I feel like it should have done. Um, but it looks very similar to this. This game is Solomon's Key. And Fire and Ice is the North American name for Solomon's Key 2. Which I think is technically a prequel. But it is not Fire and Ice. It is Solomon's Key. For there was no Solomon's Key 2 or Fire and Ice on the Atari ST. And obviously this wouldn't be a screenshot from it. 131 of you correct though. Good work. Good work indeed. Right, scores. Quicks off the mark. Squid reject. Then JP Ronnie. Then Minimum. Lucky 100. Contestant 209. But the total scores. 180 Enforcer is in the lead over Minimum and Clockwork. Ooh. Ooh, Killy SG says it was literally only yesterday I learned Curas is pronounced Quiras. Quiras or Quiras? Interesting. But it always called it curry ass for some reason. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible, horrible thing to get. Right. There we are. Johan says the key is right there. How do you get that wrong? Well, you see, Fire and Ice is technically the, the sequel and sort of same setup, but there we are. Right. Craft Gold's Fire. And oh, yeah. Fire and Ice. Yeah. There's also Fire and Ice, which is a platformer starring. 
God, is that cool coyote? Throws those ice balls everywhere. That was, um, I'm having a demo of that for ST. Pretty sure it's an Amiga on that. Right. Next question. Well, let me get the picture up first. Bloop. Motorbike it. Motorcycling. Something or other. Things and stuff. Oh my god! Fire and Ice is the same programmer as Captive. And Nightmare, then. Yeah. The second one. Blimey. Mania, Solomon's Key, IK Plus, Mad Mix, Harrier Strike Mission. Never got that one to work. Uh, Metro Cross, Hellfire. Oh no, it's Hellfire that didn't work. You're right, yes. Hellfire never worked. Yeah, Mad Mix against the CS, crap. Still best crack to discover it. Absolutely. I can't remember Harrier Strike Mission. Was that like a. God, I might have probably played it the other day and I still can't remember it. It was just Flight Simmy, wasn't it? Can't remember. I just want to check something before I say something to Mentus, so I don't ruin this. Yes, so on one of the discs I got when I got this VST, there was also a disc that had Cracked on it. And Cracked had an ST version and not an Amiga version. Mm. Another one that could have got on the list, but didn't. Mm. I presume... Good God, Rhea says Fire and Ice on the NES used is 230 US dollars. Christ. I presume they called it Fire and Ice because um, they never had Solomon's Key 1. So therefore, you couldn't call it Solomon's Key 2. Uh, saying that probably wouldn't stop them, would it? Anyway. Here we go. What game is this? Is this game Hot Rubber? RVF Honda, Enduro Racer, or Hang On. Hot Rubber, RVF Honda, Enduro Racer, or Hang On. Rhea says I own Solomon Key on the NES. Oh, so it did come out. Oh, so they just renamed it for no reason. Oh well. Right. Let's have a thought on this. So, Hot Rubber and RVF Honda are both motorcycle racing games for the Atari ST. So this is between Enduro Racer and Hang On. Hang On had very different bikes to this. And more to the point, around the time of the ST, they were onto Super Hang On. There is a version of Super Hang On for the ST, I believe. But this is Enduro Racer. 88 of you correct. Very good. 61 went for Hang On. But, um, yep. Yeah. 88 Enduro Racer. Very good indeed. Enduro Racer, quite a popular Spectrum conversion as well. Pretty good, actually. If I remember, Super Hang On for the ST wasn't. Jonty's Corner has literally said Super Hang On the ST was so bad. Yep, good. Well, that was sort of my memory of it. But then again, I'm not a massive fan of racing games, so perhaps I'm not the best person to ask. Right, scores. Quiz off the mark. Hugh Janus88, then Mr. Dave P75, then Namco's. Lucky 100, contestant 450. Total scores. Manumanumanum is in the lead over Clockwork and the Northeast Recluse. And this is question nine. Speed hook. Roberto, don't use the speed hook. He's not worth it. What? Mentus, mate, are you saying that Enduro Racer on the Specky was written by the same people as Outrun on the Specky? What the bloody hell happened? Were they concussed between jobs? Bloody hell.
Right, I'm going to stop this now because, frankly, if you haven't got it now, you never will. Also, uh, let's just say. Good luck! You'll need it! Right. <clears throat> Is this game. Bowling Hero, Strike, Tenth Frame, or Kingpin? Bowling Hero, Strike, Tenth Frame, or Kingpin? <sighs> what a horrible question. So <laughs> clearly this is Tekken Bowl, says I'm tears to lights again. Ah, the film canary recognizes this as the big Lebowski of the game. Yep, Donny on screen there. There's the bit where you have to scatter the ashes and waggle the joystick really quickly so they don't blow back in your face. Right. Uh this is a bowling game. <laughs> there is a bowling game called Strike for the ST. I'm not sure if that had an Amiga version or not, but it's strike with an exclamation mark, so I left that off for a bit of a hint. As much as a hint as that is. <coughs> bowling Hero is some shit I made up. Kingpin is an Amiga bowling game, just a budget game. This is 10th frame. 88 of you correct? Very good. This was basically sort of an 8-bit bowling sim that somehow got this ST version which looks a bit primitive from the screenshot but I don't know I have not played it <laughs> oh god was that Amiga Square says Kingpin was the 10 pin bowling game that jointly with the horrible all terrain racing yet netted Amiga Power a lawsuit from Team 17 for not rating their games highly enough yep yeah. literally went to court and I, I think Team 17's thing saying yeah but the other magazines liked them and the judges said, yeah, but these people didn't like them as much. <laughs> they didn't even say they were that bad. You know? <laughs> but to be fair, Kingpin is... Kingpin's fine. It's like a little thing, but it's not much of a game, really. There's not much to it. All-terrain racing is just sort of unpleasant. Um, you can... Oh, ugh, not a good game. Right. Scores. Quicks off the mark. A lousy green 250 t-shirt. Beardy Viking second. And one chop was third. Lucky 100. So bendy. Total scores, Manumanumanumanum has taken the lead above Clockwork and Hello Number 3. Hello Number 3 is number 3. Interesting. Hmm. Right. Question 10. Ooh. That's a familiar game setup. Oh my god. All terrain racing. Oh, it is on the Evercade cartridge for oh my god. It didn't get as far as court. Well somebody told me bloody lies about that Amiga Square. Bloody hell. I should know. I doubt it's read it in AP2 or something. Oh, this is horrible. Clockwork says, I love the demo of this. Bought an actual copy back in the day, but it didn't work. Never found another copy, so I never had it. Oh. Now, don't think there's any Amiga version of this, Cat Cow. Pretty sure there was not. Do you know what? I'm going to double check now, just in case. Um... Oh, there is, but it's a later homebrew one. Phew, dodged a bullet there. Right. Ready, steady. What bloody game is this? Is it? Zara Thruster, Thrust, Moonlander, or Oids? Zara Thruster, Thrust, Moonlander, or Oids?
so. Thrust is sort of the original example of this game. Um, I mean, arguably Lunar Lander is sort of first, but Thrust adds the sort of shooting of that to it. Moon Lander is not a thing, it's Lunar Lander. Zara Thruster is a Thrust style game, but it's for the Amiga. Oh, this is Weeds. An ST game so beloved, there is an emulator that only emulates Weeds. Amiga Squares is a lovely game, this one. True enough. Funnily enough, I found out about it via Amiga Power. They more than once lamented the fact it was never converted to the Amiga. I think Stuart Campbell was a big fan of this and wrote levels for it or something. Like a level editor. I don't know why I know that. Fortunately, a fan later created the magnificent Fly Harder. Yep. And apparently, in 2014, uh, somebody actually did convert Oids to the Amiga. But there we bloody are. Hmm. Is this the best ever thrust style game? Well, it depends what you're after. If you're after two player shooty shenanigans with that setup, it's going to be Gravity Power. But for one player fun, it probably is still this. Made by the same people as Dungeon Master. Is it Minimum? Minim I know it's released by FTL. Um, or were they the people who made it? Yeah, that would make sense, then, wouldn't it? Right, scores. Quick stuff the mark. Squid Reject. Then Decarino, then Tigu 3. Lucky 100, contestant 241. Total scores, num 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 is in the lead over Clockwork and Hello Number 3, who is still number 3. Spook. Right. Question number 11. Coming up now. Interestingly, I had never fucking heard of this game. <laughs> and I believe this is an ST exclusive. No other versions of this game. Oh, Magic Knight getting the spook reference. Yep. We showed a little bit of his uh, routine a few months ago. We're going to have to play this game after this, aren't we? I'll bet it's shite. I feel bad for saying that now. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> Uh, yes, apparently it is. Oh, that's, that is a shame. Oh, well. Hmm. Right. As intriguing as these graphics are, that doesn't mean anybody's going to bloody know what this is. Ready, steady, what is this bloody game? Is this, oh, Pepsi Man, I thought that's speaking. Is this game Anarchy, Darkland, Steel, or Metal Mutant? Anarchy, Darkland, Steel, or Metal Mutant? Interested to see what people go for here. Ooh, it's taken a while for the results to come in, but they're in. So, Anarchy. There is a game called Anarchy, isn't there? Hmm. Look that up now. Bloody hell. Um, might be Amiga only, though. I'm looking up on ST, but hey. Yes, there is an Anarchy. Okay, it's Psygnosis game. Oh, shit, it's that one. The side scroller. Yeah, okay. Um, it was a shooter, wouldn't it? Uh, so that is a thing. Steel. I just typed that in. Is there a game called Steel? I feel there probably should be. And Metal Mutant. Metal Mutant is not this game. But it is an ST game and Amiga game, I think, that is pretty good. Anarchy is the shooter with the owl. No, Enigma, you're thinking of Agony. Agony is the one with the owl. Anarchy is the one with the spaceship. <laughs> And it's not Obitus. Obitus has an owl on the front, but that doesn't. It's not the game. It's so bloody confusing. My God. Anyway, 
It's a dark land, apparently. 57 of you correct. 50 went for Metal Mutant. But there we are. Close, but you steal victory from the jaws of failure. Very good. Yep, dark land, apparently. Just looks like the metal man thing is uh, trying to pet the eyeball. Oh, it's a good eyeball. Does he like scritches? Right. Scores. Oh my god, is Anarchy the one that got a lawsuit from Dimu Borgir? Was that a thing? Holy shit, I've got to read up about that at some point. Right, scores. Quicks of the mark. Simmons, dude. Thank you, Testament 471. Then, brother Captain Birdseye. Lucky 100, Cyber Steve. Total scores. Manumanumanum is in the lead. Hello number three is now number two. And Tobal UK is third. As we go into the final question. What the hell is this thing? Xanto Claw versus H Manslayer. It's from Epics. Yet somehow it wasn't on the links. Other way around. Dimu Borgir was sued from Agony. Holy shit! You mean... He, like, sampled the theme or something. Oh, God. Interesting. That is a good crowd, actually. I'm enjoying this. One of them appears to have a mutant tongue. I don't know if you see the, uh... If you go to the right, far right, there's, like, a person with grey hair and a red shirt. And there's somebody in, like, a yellow Dick Tracy jacket next to them. Or some venom or something. Hmm. So, I have never played this game. Is it good? I don't know. I'm getting the impression it isn't, frankly, from the screenshot, but you never know. You never know. There was a Muscle Men in the game. Rufus and Mega for the Nintendo, but it's uh, Kinducky Man or whatever. Okay. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Brian blesses in the ring. So it's no Columbo either, Mentor. So why are we even fucking bothering? God. Right, here we go. Yeah, good bloody luck. Is this game Kings of Wrestling, Championship Wrestling, All-Star Wrestling, or Wrestling Heroes? Kings of Wrestling, Championship Wrestling, All-Star Wrestling, or Wrestling Heroes? Did the ST or Amiga ever get a decent wrestling amount? That's a fucking good question, Amiga Square. I'm not sure they did. Unless this is good, then the ST did. But there we are. So, when the answers are in, here we are. We shall now go through some bastardry. Kings of Wrestling, I made up. Wrestling Heroes, I made up. All-Star Wrestling, I made up. Championship Wrestling is this. This is Championship Wrestling. 82 of you got it. You must have looked up Atari ST Wrestling Epics or something. <laughs> I can't see how you would have got that if not. <laughs> but the fact remains get it you did yeah uh. Mensky says nothing had a good wrestling game until Fire Pro when did Fire, did Fire Pro predate um, like Muscle Bomber and uh, the good WWF Arcade one um, WrestleFest or Super, no, Superstars was the first one WrestleFest is the second and remember, if you'd like to play my WrestleFest arcade board, it is currently available to play in uh, Retro Replay Arcade in Norwich. Whoa. Right. Final results. Here we go. Quickest of the mark was Bronze Retriever, then Bean Jam in 2, then Bondi Bash. Lucky 100, Bobby Zeal. But, wait for it. <gasps> Final. That's the wrong music. How dare you! Final <laughs> results reveal. That's better. Manum, 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 takes home the gold. Hello number three is second. Tobal UK is third. Look at that. Clockwork was fourth and Zach T. Duck were fifth. And the rest of the top 15 were Rob McBob MC. Himble 42. Magic Knight 75. Cinnamon Robin. Ian. P. Cry 80. Amiga Square. Keen Queen. Bippity Pop. And silent fills. 
overall lucky 100 was far fooly. Good work, folks. And you know what? Very difficult quiz, and yet no jimmies. Every most popular answer was also the correct one. I think you've earned this. You gotta do what? I gotta believe. Well done. But overall, Manum takes home the gold, which means they get to watch this amazing video and pretend they've won the prizes in it, which they haven't. I'd like to make that clear for legal reasons. Hooray! In one. From Mozart to Madonna, everything sounds better on this MIDI hi-fi with CD player. In two. Guaranteed to make it rain, a fully equipped outdoor barbecue. In three. Rock yourself to sleep in style with a fine rocking chair. In four. This high-pressure cleaner will knock spots off the dirtiest car. Five. It's a millionaire's egg timer. Well, it's a stylish carriage clock. In six. Now you can talk to yourself with the aid of this combined phone and answering machine. In seven. An electronic keyboard that gives you an orchestra at your fingertips. In eight. Something that blends in with your kitchen. A state-of-the-art food processor. And bully special prize. Play the champions on this fully automatic electronic dartboard. Ooh, there's a bit of an urgent cutoff there. Electronic dartboard, how cool is that? So, if you want a list of other games that could have been on this list, some of which we've already mentioned, uh, this isn't exhaustive. We could have had Cracked. We could have had Verminator. We could have had Game Over 2. We could have had Star Trek Rebel Galaxy. Got a PC port that one, but no Amiga. Uh, we could have had International Karate. There's a massively souped-up version of that for, um, yeah, ST. I think it sort of reappeared again for the Game Boy, weirdly, but, uh, yeah. No big version of that. Could have been Karate Car. There's a very souped-up ST version of that, um, but no. Could have had, of course, Ranorama. Silent Service, that we mentioned earlier. Uh, where Time Stood Still. I'm pretty sure that's turned up in another quiz, but uh, that was all 8-bit, apart from the ST version. Slap Fight, the um, arcade vertical shooter. That didn't have an Amiga version, but did have an ST one. Ooh. And there's probably more, but they're all the ones I took screenshots of. <laughs> the scores are still on the screen. Oh, God, the scores haven't gone. Well, that's not good. Hang on, was that... Yes, all gone now. There we are. Phew. We got about it. Yeah. Yep, slap fight was ST, not Amiga. That's what we said, nefarious Dr. Bob. That's why I've got a screenshot of it here. Um, I really wanted to put in this quiz, incidentally. Um, Game Over 2, because it's so weirdly generic looking. But I couldn't, because it has the name on it in massive letters. We were using Arctic moves for that. So, um, there we are. Ah, marvellous. Well, that was a bloody difficult quiz but you did very well so well done everybody well done but the most important thing is i've fixed all the little things on the stream deck so that it actually shows me which question we're on now which was really annoying we went through the several months where it didn't Ugh. arctura says i remember my next door neighbor had a pd game on st called entombed which i don't think had an amigo entombed interesting i'll look that up um yeah i wasn't doing pd stuff for uh obvious reasons because if you start doing pd stuff then you're sort of thinking well then does the homebrew stuff or the amiga count mm. anyway and... oh my god i had this it was on a cover disc i'm sure yeah it's basically rick dangerous but you're a little egyptian guy yeah and if I remember, it actually shows you where the traps are to be set off. So, yeah. Interestingly, it seems to appear on an awful lot of um, pirate menus, even though it's public domain. Interesting. <laughs> I just remembered there was a... Um, there, you had the Midway Boys on the ST as a cracking group, but also somebody called the Midland Boys. I totally forgot about them. My God. Uh, 
Uh, so Squid Reject said, just looked up, according to Tim, the right cold storage Wikipedia page, Dimu Borgi ripped off the music from Agony, not Anarchy. God, it's so confusing. Agony, Ag and Anarchy, and Obitus, because of the cover, are all bloody interchangeable. Bloody hell. Mm. Oh, yes, the game over box art. Yes, I remember they had to um, basically airbrush out some cleavage for... Um, ads and magazines. Yeah, that was a thing. I think they might change the um, box art as well. I can't remember now. Yeah, if you're, if you're looking at PD stuff, Nefarious Dr. Bob, that's um, pretty much every STPD game didn't come out in Amiga because PD stuff, not generally um, ported to other systems for fairly obvious reasons. Yeah. Kanita Wari, except your Sinclair, who just printed the image of the box art as a big ass poster. I had that poster. <laughs> Kanita Wari. <laughs> Very rarely bought your Sinclair as well. I managed to get the one with the rude poster in without realizing. Oh, dear. Right. Oh. Manamanamanam says one ST exclusive game is Cobra Space Adventure 2. What, as in, yes, as in the anime. Interesting. I'm not aware of that one. Yeah. Oh my god, I think did we play this once? Yeah, you have like the robot along with you, um as a sort of sidekick. Bloody hell. And oh my god, the cover. Okay, I hadn't seen that cover before. Whew. <laughs> Does the Psygnosis box art generator still exist? I do hope so. <laughs> it's the yes album cover and some text was it was amazing. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Oh, dear. Pippity Pop says, My mum got a telling off from the news agent for buying me that Vixen, your Sinclair. <laughs> oh, God! Yes! it Was was it the art from the game or was it their own photo shoot? I can't remember now. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, my God. Right. It does still exist. Good. That's the main thing. To try and play Nurcon. What's that one? Tobo. I'll have a look. Nurcon. Nope, not for the ST. Can't help you with that one. Right. We should bloody play some ST games now. We should play some of these ST games. We'd be mad not to. Um, annoying. No, I didn't think of that beforehand, so I haven't got them all set up. So we'll have to just jump into the emulator and play along. Play along. Right. That sounded like when um, Flight of the Concords do Bowie. Yeah, this dark, I think this Darklands thing, or dark, dark Land, sorry, not Dark Lands. Dark Land sounds better, doesn't it? Um, that's going to have to be number one, I think, Jackal Blade. We have to get straight into that, I think, mate. Let's have a look. Right, this will still be set up from last time, so this should be nice and easy. Although, I do, though, have to find all the piss-arsing games, don't I? Right, I'm going to have to load up, wait for it, folks, the Atari ST Disk Detective, which is an old piece of software that you can use to search um, old Atari ST pirate menus. The sad thing is... Um, Software's been fucked for, like, 20 years or something. It just doesn't work on any modern Windows, so I had to extract all the data and put it in a big spreadsheet. <laughs> Yeah, the things we do. Yeah. Right. Atari ST Disk Detective. Here we go. Let's control F. Some dark land. And it always only appears on two different discs. Interesting. Automate. Oh, it says dark land. It's not dark one. It might not be the same thing. It's on Evil Force Disc 19. I've never even heard of Evil Force. I'm not sure I have those here in the archive. They'd be in the deep archive that I can't reach quick enough. Um, hmm. Hang on. Oh, it might be on Automation. Yeah, let's, let's check Automation 375. Um... 
What is it? 376. It's 376. Ooh, there's a formatting error. Although it technically says Dark Lands in here, but I mean, that's probably just a typo because, because that makes more sense, doesn't it? There we are, fixed. Right. That means you've got to find the pirate's ark. Oh, God, there's always something, isn't there? There we go. And please, sir. Best set the new folder for this, actually, it'll be confusing. Mensky says that there's a data file you can put in Steam that allows you to search via the disk menu. Ooh, right, I'm going to sort that out later. Bloody hell, Mensky. That is super useful. Bloody hell, Noir has bathed two cats and lived to tell the tale. I'll bet your arms are cut to ribbons. My God. Right. Uh, automation. What were we looking at? Is automation 376. My God. So many automations. Might do that thing again where we just uh, load up a random automation menu. Because there's so many of them we can actually do that. Right. Here we go. Oh, shall we play Miami Mice again? How about no fucking way? Right. We should be able to go pretty much straight over to this. Yes! Look at that beauty. Oh no, it's gone weird. I've, oh no, I've thrown it up to full screen. Hang on. Ah, there we are. <laughs> That was a bit of a worry for a second. <laughs> you have a dog who loves bath time. That's that's a rarity. My God. Well, I'm quite annoyed by the... What is the deal with this bloody... This grey line around it? That's new. That wasn't there last time. What's all that about, eh? Hmm. Can't see how to turn off all these. Haha, -ha, there we Oh, no. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. No, I've ruined it. I've killed us all. No, we're back. Right. Uh, we'll ignore that. <clears throat> we'll just have to pretend they're not here. As we get into whatever the hell Dark Land is. Oh, drinking bath water. Oh, with all the soap and. Oh, oh, my God. Dweeby. 370. This is supposed to be 376. What's going on here? Dweeby's Quest. This is not the game we ordered, friends. <laughs> what the... What the bliggering potato is this? There's no sound, by the way. Equipment Dweeby. What? You can't do it. Oh, press F1 and ready. Right. Dweeby status. Okay, press F1 and ready. Well, I can't seem to... Oh, hang on. Something damned. I clicked on a... What? Ooh. Okay, Dweeby has two claws now. I'm pressing F1. Epics, are you on drugs, Epics? Oh, there we are. Oh, God. God that was weird. Oh, good. Oh, oh. Fart. 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 Oh, dweeby. Right. Thou is attacked by two bandits. Ooh, with great speed and cunning, they take all of your gold. The bastards! Huh? Why is right to the left and left to the right? Yeah, that's throwing me as well, Russia DK. Um, battle. Attacked by two... Attacked by two of those. <laughs> Knowles? Novels? Attacked by two novels. Um, I, ba battle. Sword attack. Lunge, lunge. Monster slain. We don't have a sword. They ran away. Search. Yes. Found $8 GP. Found $19 GP. You now have 27 gold pieces. I'm sure they'll be stolen immediately. Good work, Dweeby. Hmm. 
No, it can't go in there. Does that do anything? No. Status. Okay. Oh, we're going to Oh, got attacked by one bark nibbler. Monster slain. Uh, classic dweeby. This is odd. Is this like a sort of almost like a PD? Um, I bet this didn't get an Amiga version. Mind you, it might be public domain. But so. My 376 automation menu apparently is actually 370. Attacked by 8 Crybot. Okay. Thrust, thrust. Oh dear, I think these are hard. Hand attack. Monsters all lives. I can't do those. I apparently have a sword. I don't know where that came from. Uh oh, the monster's hit. Dweeby has taken plus four in damage. A Commodore plus four. Hand attack is crap. We're going back to lunge. Monster slain! There's only 400 left. Monster slain! Hand attack. Press the wrong button. Monster slain! This really seems like a PD game over the stars. Oh, you said Epic's on the bloody title, didn't it? Of course it did, yeah. We haven't even pressed any of the buttons at the top yet. God, we're going to get all the money after this, surely. Oh, we've taken plus two in damage. Go on, Dweeby, you can take it. Take it like the blue blob you are. Oh, God, no, we're going to get hit quite heavily now. No, we're still running. There we are. Come on, one more. Oh, God. Dweeby must be at death's door by now. But it's dead! Dweeby the Conqueror. In what universe would you not search? Oh, the universe where it takes a thousand hours. Chargoth X. Thank you very much for your sub there. 35 months. Oh, we're going to end up with a lot of money. Which, again, I'm sure we'll have stolen from us. We now have over 100 gold pieces. Oh, Dweeby. How does Dweeby use a sword when he has no arms? Let's not think about it. Enter. Entering... T oh, I see. Entering tower. Cool. Oh, hello. Sanity attack! One year sub-anniversary. Massive salutes. Thank you very much. Oh, that's status. Hit points 37. I'll be right. Oh, what? Attacked by nine pogos. <laughs> right, enough of this. Camp. So, I don't care anymore. They ran away. Yeah. No search. Oh, I said no search. And he still searches. Amazing. What? They ra If they run away, you still get to search the bodies? What? Well, today, friends, we discovered a game we never knew existed by accident. And it was shite. <laughs> That's a bit unfair. It's not terrible, but it's not... I can see you getting into this if you have nothing else to play. That's the polite way of putting it. Sirk. Thou hast found one doors. Oh, look at that. Yeah, how do we open the, this bastard thing? Look. There's a chest here. Open it. Yes. It vanished. What? What sort of nonsense is that? Well, I think we're back out to the start now, aren't we? Attacked by seven nude s swings. What? This game's going to go away now. Right. <laughs> Very odd. I'm going to try disc 370 and see if somehow they've just got messed up. 
Um, it seems very odd. Why have they got two heads? What's going on? I, d I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're going to make it all better and go away. Okay, we've got Darklands. Why is the music so loud? Is that loud for you guys? Let me double check. Oh no, it's not mad for you. Let me put it down a little bit. Right. I hope Darklands is the game we were looking at. Because technically it's Dark Land, isn't it? But, yeah, there we go. This is it! This is it. You see, even... It even looks like there's Ness on the end. That was a thing that happened. I know, Uber Fuzzy. It's, I think it's easy for us to dismiss things like that these days. But at the time, when it's all you got and you can get into it a bit, I think I'd have probably done the same. It's got an Atmos Chaotic Bear, this is true. Pull that for the... Oh, God. For the third time in Caladan, the, the Supreme... Oh, bloody hell. I can't translate it quick enough and don't know most of the words. Unfortunately, um, uh, something has... Oh, God. It's gone again. Right. <laughs> Let's just get into it. bleep a deep blop blop Oh, I can't seem to quit it. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, there we are. Right on mouse button. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm a man in his pants. I believe you summoned me, weird wizards. Yes, we're going to shoot energy into this orb. I see. And I need to be in my pants because... Ah! It's covered me in goo and I've exploded. Well, that was fun. And now he is Goo Man. Quickly, get the baseball. Oh, God. Wow. Why can't I move or do anything? That seems like a problem. Hang on. I'm just going to check the uh, joystick setup. Maybe it's gone weird. Yes, it has. That's all right. I know what to do. Blop. Oh, the, now the game mode run. There we are. Yay! <laughs> what are you shuffling about? Oh god, hang on, the red thing goes down on a shoe and it hasn't gone back up again. I declare that to be a problem. What is the deal with the baseball? Is that just a baseball that's been covered in goo or half covered in goo? Oh, that's fun. Get off me, baseball, you shit. Oh god, I've run out of goo. Oh, but he exploded anyway. Oh, look, I can switch weapons. Here we are. Well, that one's gone. That one doesn't do anything. That's good. Ha! <laughs> the ricochet beam. It's useless against them. It's super ineffective. Get the boomerangs. Great. Why are all your weapons shut? I can't find any more of those. Hang on. Great, I've run out of everything. I have no more. Oh, the bat's shitting everywhere. Is the orb killing it? No, the orb's got health! I'm supposed to protect the orb. I don't know what the orb is. But I must protect it. Just noticed our head is transparent, so that's good. I genuinely don't know how you're supposed to get through this. Not a clue. Still have a few more of the stakes. True. It was bloody useless, but... Um... Nothing seems to hurt anything. Why is the world like this? 
Hello, it's Beans O'Clock. How are you doing? Yeah, but, I mean, the ball's out of energy now. It's floating off, look. Yeah, the ball's out of the way. It's gone behind now. I'm nearly out of health as well. God, that looked like a problem. Is the crystal good? Help us, crystal. The crystal is doing nothing. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's loading something. Is there a game over sequence? Oh, no, he's in a coffin. <laughs> and they buried Goo Man. Here, here lies Norin Rad. Can we make him come out of the coffin? No, he, he is dead. Okay. I can't work out if that coffin was supposed to be lean, lent up against a wall. Ooh, look at that one. Ha! <laughs> Runs out of juice. Um, or not. Because it looked like he was standing flat on something, and yet also it looked like it was supposed to be an overhead shot on the floor. Does nothing to hurt it. All right. Oh, look at that. A wibbly disease. Yes, wibbly diseases hurt things. Doesn't hurt that one. Okay. Nope. Nope, that didn't work. I think the fire was the only thing that worked, wasn't it? Oh, shit. That's it. I'm out of ammo again. What is going on with the ammo in this game? Yeah, is it something we have to constantly swap bloody weapons? I can't help this guy should have... I have the feeling that this guy should have, um, in some way... I don't know, got a better deal on the stuff he needs to attack and stuff with. Can I have a sword? Nah, just some goo. Can I have some shoes? No, goo. I mean, you run out of ammo in seconds. We've got to be missing something here. Right. I'm going to have a look at Atari Legend and stuff and see what I can find out here. Uh... Chaotic Bear 91. Thank you very much for your sub. A goo will do. Right. Uh. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any information on this. Right, what we're going to do then is go off to Atari Mania, actually, which is, is a better site in general. Oh, it tells us nothing. It says there's no proper dump of the game. Uh, and there's not even a picture of the box. Oh, dear. Hmm. So what do we know? All we know is different weapons use different ammo bars, right? That's the first one. That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. That's the second or the first one. How do you even tell? That's... So Boomerang is the only one that uses the third, I think. Okay. Oh. Everything's completely fucking ineffective. Also, how come last time the ball was in front and now it's hanging around behind? That's true. I should change the uh, thing, shouldn't I? 
and category. I always forget. Retro. Oh no, it's not letting me change it. That's not good. Ah, well, we're, we're stuck on quiz kit, apparently. Great. Ah, no, we've got it. I did it a second time. Hmm. The baller's learned. now using you as a shield. <laughs> yeah. The baller's intelligent. I have no idea, Atreus. You should still be able to highlight your message. Have you got enough twiddly bits? Pop station, sorry. I go home and recharge. No. That is the only button I can find that does anything. Can you go up that path at the back? Oh, good question. Unfortunately, I've gone past it now. Let's find another. Successfully jump something. It's a rarity. I'm not going to jump these. <laughs> right, this surely this crystal must be something. That one used red, didn't it? And the crystal's red. No. Oh, that was very difficult to dodge. Oh, new eyeball. Bit of a semi-wadger eye thing going on. Oh, it's dropped something. There's a thing. Fuck off. I need me thing. What? It's, it's got the symbol of one of the weapons on. That one. But I can't pick it up. Do you pick it up by using an empty slot? Right, let's try it. Nope. Nothing's happening. Yep. Yeah, gone past it, probably. Brilliant. Oh my god. I hope they're all just one sprite to regenerate you. No, nope, they're all one sprite. Nope, can't go up the things in the background either. Unless there are controls we don't know of. Hello, Devon B. Thank you. Oh, we're dead again. Right, let's check out the weird um, thingamajig on this, right? Look, his feet are like flat against something, like he's standing upright, but I think it's supposed to be... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Karen Quinn! 48 months! My God, four entire years. Thank you very much indeed. So many salutes, you can't fit them all in your salute cupboard. Yeah, death by guano. Um, I don't get this. There has to be something we're missing. To the extent that I'm going to quickly Google it, Darkland. But, although I feel like one of you would have come up with it, but uh, uh, well, there's some right, some videos on it. I wonder if Atari, I'm thinking about Atari Legend. They sometimes have um, little reviews at the side. We hear a cool intro and good digitised sound. The game is very boring, though. All levels are simply a flat plane. You must run for a very, very long time to reach the end of the zone. The orb that follows your character is pretty cool, though, and can be used strategically. How? The game takes place in an imaginative world with good presentation, but overall it's not good. I have basically the same issues with this game as I have with Battlebound. They're similar, which is a bad thing. Uh, this one has better graphics, though. I'm sure this game will end up in the dark land that is your garbage bin. Ha ha, another zinger by me. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You had no idea what's up with your thing there, Atreyu. Um, there's no system for us to sort of alter it, so... Maybe F5? That tends to cure a lot of Twitch things. Nodal says, just scrolling through some YouTube plays of this, two of them appear to just run out of ammo, and the other one didn't, didn't look like they ever did. <laughs> so one had infinite ammo, and two ran out like we did. Bloody hell. 
that's uh hmm that is a thing I kind of want to do something with that bizarre image of him in a coffin we need that to something hmm I'll have a think on that there is a cracked version of the game with a trainer oop I'm going to have to try and find it out what was it it was some uh crack group I'd never heard of like evil potatoes or something um Oh, I've got various versions, actually. Um, right. I think this might this might do what we need. Prior to you. <laughs> Treyu, thank you. <laughs> I was late as well, don't worry about it. Um... Glad to see it works again. Cracked and trained by Yoda. So now we have to cheat. I don't want cracks and training. I really want, I want well, you would crack, obviously it wouldn't work. But um, what we need are docs. We need the documents. We need the stuffs. Trainer, yes. The guy said you could use the ball strategically. How? There are like a million document discs, are there? Or was that more an Amiga thing? I can't remember. My guy from the 80s. Three months sub, thank you very much. Well, here we go, the bizarre intro again. Underpants man walks on. Dun, 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 dun. Straight from the bodybuilding competition. These idiots fire some lines at a ball. The ball then regurgitates the line at him. And he gets covered in goo. And explodes. Okay. Yep, infinite ammo. go. Probably can't die either. This is going to be completely pointless. don't think there are any trainer keys. I think it's just infinites. Um, yeah, just on or off. Can you select and then move the ball? No, unfortunately. Right, so that kills them. What kills bats? Not that. Not that. Not that. Is it the flying disease kills the bats? Oh no, we've got eyeballs now. Eyeballs of fire. Oh, except they're not fire anymore. Oh, I'm on the wrong on fire. Bloody hell. There we are. I got it. No, we didn't. Oh. <laughs> this one just comes straight down your head. Great. Why isn't the orb in the intro? Oh, this kills those as well, right. Oh, La Planète Sauvage. No, I've not seen that for bloody years. René Lelou, isn't it? fun at all. Maybe it's more fun if you're having to, I don't know, manage the ammo and you know how to get it back. <gasps> crystal, different crystal. Looks like that. Can't seem to do anything with it. The orb is in the intro, so it shoots you with goo, says John T's going. Oh, so the the ball on the apparatus is the orb? I mean, maybe. Oh, God, I had sensible train spotting being jamming too. Somebody copied that game and released it commercially. It's exactly the same. 
Well, make the screen sh go funny. That's good. Um, I really don't know what we should be doing here. Oh! -ho -ho! Blop, blop, blop. Oh, no. Nope. 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 Yeah, oh, it's the same old one. Oh, there we are, look. Yes, no! Is this version knackered or something? Is there a button we don't know about? Um... Pressed all the buttons in the universe. Oh, I've somehow paused it and now I can't get it back. Good. Yep. Well, I've messed that up. Um, oh no, it's P. That makes sense. Let's get to the end of level and see what happens. And how would you kill these? You think? Well, that isn't even going to hit them. No. They flash white, I think, when they're damaged. Not going to happen to those, is it? Right, we're just going to wander through. Goo man, he's indestructible. His game is impenetrable. that you can't Meh. these are of course fire again I believe you can only shoot like three bloody times though yep we are walking along the world's longest tree trunk it's true clockwork blobs. The blobs of Blobbington. No. No. I think these blobs can't be hit because the bullets aren't disappearing. Oh my god. Another pointless crystal. Forget it. We must eat all the monsters. Oh, we failed at evil at that. He really does shuffle, doesn't he? I don't know why their corpses stay on screen, nothing else does. God almighty, how long are these? Oh my god, that's new. <clears throat> oh, not kills them. Probably fire again. Another crystal. A crystal of a different colour. But still it tastes as sweet. God. I think I've got a bin big enough to shove this game into. <laughs> I could do a Blu-ray set of the streams, a tray. <laughs> I I've got them all um, uh, fiddled away in high res. Pop. Well, this is fun. How many Blu-rays would that even be? Well, it wouldn't be at max quality, but it'd be quite a few. 
What the hell are these things? I'm literally just going to hold down the right button now and see what happens. Jaunty's Corner says, I've just checked two... I've just checked two videos of this game on YouTube and in none of them does the orb get moved or any ammo recharge. Yeah. Oh, there's a new sound there. Death laugh from the skull thing. Oh my god, it's loading! Shit, son! We've done it. Now we're on a different log in a murkier place that doesn't look as good. Oh shit. Oh. Mine layer. Oh, it's this game seems like absolute monkey bollocks. Oh, hang on. Yes! For once, it was this one. Right, I can't stand any more of this. Absolute dross. But there's got to be something. Um... got to be something we're missing because people talk about manoeuvring the ball and there's got to be a way of getting ammo back the game could just be unfinished well there aren't any box shots of it which does make me wonder actually but then again that's something I mean you couldn't have all these levels in it and not have put in the basic game mechanics so it does seem unlikely but um Just looking it up on Amiga to see if anybody's got like a copy of it or something. Nope. They do not. Plenty of copies of Fun School 3 though. Um, it's got to be a bloody like, image of it. Right, hang on. Let's check Moby Games. They're sometimes quite good for this. Ho ho! Right. This is a totally different game. <laughs> That's Dark Lands. It's an RPG. Holy shit, this doesn't even have an entry on Moby Games. Wow. Yeah, and, and all I can find is people seeing, asking if anybody's got a copy of this stuff. Uh... Turn turbo mode on the emulator and right till you win or it crashes. I like this plan, Rataranig. Yes. Atreyu, I can't remember that at all. <laughs> so I can't answer that. Uh, that was a long time ago. Right. I don't know how you put this. I don't know if there is a turbo mode in this emulator. There probably is. Is there a warp mode? How does one activate warp mode? <laughs> the speedy, speedy button at the top. Oh my god, I think it is as simple as that. Yes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Me, me, me. What, what are we going right now? Well, a bit more detail in the background. Weirder heads. Very minimally animated, the enemies. Goo Man is indestructible. Right. Hang on. And 
Oh my god! Victory! What? Well done, you've made it to a... You've made it to a lift. A chained log. And... Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, you made it to the chain log. I mean, that looks like a lift to the next level or something. Oh, bloody hell. Hang on. I find it hard to... Oh, there we are. Turbo moding it. Nothing's happening. That's it? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Son, I had to push down or something. Well, glad to see the game. Oh, look. Pick, pick the bloody thing up. Okay. I've got to work out if there is a bloody... How's this going? Oh, it's eggs now. And robot dudes with no legs. Oh, who got rusty when you walk past him. So I'm just very into robots with no legs, at least. Here we are. Up or down? Down! If you're not familiar with the bombs, that means the ST has crashed. Well, great! <laughs> now, seriously beginning to wonder if this is finished. But, um, uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe it was just never play tested. Maybe it should have been set on fire. I think all these things, in their own way, may be true. Right, we spent far too long on that. Let's play one of the other games. Um, Moon Patrol, we know. Oh my god, it's got to be the Championship Wrestling. Got to be the Championship Wrestling. Yes. Um... Oh god, there's another game called Micro League Wrestling. It appears to be made up of actual... Um, WWF screenshots. Oh god, it's like that PC Engine game where you just select things from a list. No, that's not good, is it? Oh yeah, this is the one, right? Championship Wrestling, what disc is it on? It's apparently on Pompeii Pirates. 55. And the docks were on disc 57. That's such an ST crack thing. Um, right. Pompey Pirates 55. Pompey Pirates 55. I'll bet this game is proper shite. I realised that didn't rhyme, but it was relevant. Okay, it was an MSA file. We're going old school. Christ. Oh, piss. Steam won't recognise MSA files. Oh, is it Will? What am I talking about? Oh, thank God. Right. Plop. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah! Welcome to Pompey Pirates Menu 55. Wrestling, Baseball or Football Championship Series. Or Champion... No, they have spelled it right. Sorry. Right. Oh, a little tune when you select it. That's rare. Oh dear. Savile Cut. Eight years now, Daxian Preston, my god. There's a secret P.O. box for um, things like that. Right. A 
needs some practice. We could be KC Colossus, who is not Hogan. Purple Haze. Colonel Ruski. P Victorious. H Manslayer. Berserker. Zeke Weasel. And Z. Oh, you're gonna be Zeke Weasel, surely. Okay. And our opponent can be. Uh, Xbox face. Berserker. That is some subpar AY music. You're not wrong. Ar oh, God. Well, I can run around the room. Oh, he's got a hat on. Look. Gets a point for that. Get a job. Oof. Oh, it's some sort of wrestling move, but I couldn't really tell what's happening. Mangle. Bloody hell, they run slow and they walk. What, am I sleeping now? No. Oh no! Oh, that's all right. There's a bum sign. Have you infiltrated the crowd, Mentus? Does it play as bad as it looks? Weirdly, no. Oh, shit, we're out. Okay, maybe it does. <laughs> right. Now we're going to be P Vicious. This is music. Oh, there's a nutcracker. Okay. And H Manslayer. They're supposed to be Chinese. I don't want to think about that. Right. No, I think he's he thinks we're in a headdress. I'm just going to have to do a drop kick. There are actually documents for this one if we ever need them. I don't think we're going to. This is kind of shite, I wouldn't lie, but it does play better than most of the ST and Amiga wrestling games. Which again isn't saying a lot. At least it's got some wrestling in. You can actually throw them on the floor. As opposed to like those WWF games where you have like one actual super wrestling move and that is it. You know. Oh. You're on Colonel Ruski. Terrible. And purple. Oh, it's got to be Casey Colossus. No, let's go purple eyes. Go on. Are these characters are smaller than the others. Surely not. Just got less hair or hat. Oh, wrestling move. Fucking hell. Purple haze is a bit of a humdinger. Bloody hell. Right, go another last two. KC Colossus. What is that? And Xantaclaw. Gonna give us his presents. Oh, 
god. Holy shit, we've got no energy left already! Uh. <laughs> that was astonishing. My god. Bloody hell, Garrett Arcane, bless you! Gifting all the subs to all the humans. Holy shit, 50? That must have cost you at least 12 pence. Possibly 15. Seriously, that's mad. Thank you very much. Bloody hell. All the, we're going we're gonna to be having a lot of um, uh, notifications from that. My God. The very first person to get one from that lot was Octavius1701. And the very last one was Michelle Pamela Lyons. Bloody hell. Well, that game is terrible. I can only presume that Garrett has given so many subs so people are less likely to miss such uh, quality gaming just Darkland and Championship Wrestling in the future. <laughs> God almighty. We could have been playing IK around Rama, couldn't we? We've got to play something that isn't shite now. Got to. Oh. Quite want to play that version of International Karate, actually. Mm. Could have a go at that. Could have a go at tenth frame. Hmm. Hmm. It ran a rama. Do 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 do. Bom bom. Hundred ninety nine pounds fifty, Dave. Bloody hell. That is the amount. Thank you very much. I can only presume they've just been paid. Right. Um, mm, oh, Arctic moves look like it might be quite interesting as well. Uh, go on, because Arctic moves was in the quiz. We'll do Arctic moves. All right, then. All right. All right. Now I've got to find out what bloody disc that's on. Oh, God. It's never ending. Right. Get on with it. Arctic. Arctic moves. That's the one. Spy versus Spy 3 Arctic Antics. It's the same game again. Oh! That was Carbonated Dipping Jam's two year sub anniversary from that. <laughs> hey! Carrot Arcane. You are the uh, Lord of the Dance or something. And Bubblegum Bunny has gifted a sub to Garrett Arcane. Oh, look at that. The wheel has come full circle, friends. Arctic Moves might not be an actual finished game, though. Oh! Seriously? Oh, that's annoying. Should have been the quiz in that case. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't appear on any discs. Hmm, maybe that's just an unfinished thing. Ooh, that is annoying. That is annoying. Garrett Arcane do you, says, do you collect uh, just the older machines or all of it? Oh, mate, if we're talking about games, particularly um, digital copies thereof, we have a broad spectrum of stuffs and not just for the spectrum um i've been trying my level best to find a scuba game on amiga around the year 80s right i think it's only fair after your massive generosity we attempt to find this game for you garrett arcane a scuba game on amiga mid 80s so it's a relatively early one um hang on, let's pop over to this uh amiga scuba game I'm trying to think of Mega Scuba Games. Is Amiga, Amiga Square is still here? They are something of a genius at such things. Uh, I didn't know there was a game called Scuba Diver AGA. My God. The telling bit was a pain in the arse level involving smart bombs and their. Fa oh, God. Um, so the only Amiga game I can think of off the top of my head that involves scuba diving, although I don't think it involves smart bombs and fakes, is um, Operation Neptune, also known as... Oh, what's the French name of that? Bob Moraine Ocean. Um, 
So it's probably not that. Aquanaut is a good one. Treasure map. I was going to see um, a bit later. I don't know much of Aquanaut. Aquanaut is 89. Oh, yeah, that's very, very scoobery. Navy moves. Fuck, that's a good show, Gato san. Yeah. Treasure map. Dynamic software went bust before they could release Arctic moves. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Garrett was barely six. We're going to sort it for you, my friend. We're going to make this happen. Um, and by that, I mean we might fail pitifully, but let's not worry about that. I can't find a game called Treasure Map, Daxtron. That's weird. Um, hmm. 2B TV, Atreyu. We've got um, Game Child and uh, Polybius Heist on 2B TV. Yeah, we are, we are aware of it. It certainly is a thing. Um, does sound Operation Neptune, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. We're going to start off with Aquanaut. Mainly because I've never played Aquanaut before. There are two games called Aquanaut. One from 95, which A is too late and B isn't scuba diving. Treasure Trap! I'd forgotten about Treasure Trap. That's a good shout. Um, right, we're going to make a note of this. I've got to load up the Amiga emulator soon anyway for... Um, I do feel bad that we still haven't played a good ST game. <laughs> I mean, we've, right, maybe that's next stream. Good Atari ST games. Um, they do exist, folks. They absolutely do exist. Right, we're going to fire up the old Amiga emulator. Be ready for uh, the Assassins in a bit as well. Oh yeah, Treasure Trap. I know I know of Treasure Trap. I remember that being I think reviewed in an ST magazine I had actually, interestingly. Right. Floppy drives. Now I've got to find the games. That's probably quite a good point. Um Right, a bit fiddly with the bigger stuff. First of all, we are gonna try Aquin Nought. Fortunately. Oh ho! There's a Commodore, 60, oh, Commodore 64 game. That's no, We are looking for Amiga games. Yep, the 89 one, that is it. Right, I'm going to copy those into the directory, and then we can see what is going on with this. I just hope this is the greatest game ever, or at the very least, the one you're looking for. Cutthroats from 1984. That's a good one, Bean Jammin' too, because I have not heard of that. Cutthroats. Cutthroats is a text adventure about pirates. That's probably not going to be that. Um, not one I've heard of, though. It also had a high-tech boat you launched missions from. Garrett, that is beginning to sound like Operation Neptune. I'm pretty sure I've already got this on here because I had that game for my Atari ST. If I still have the disc in the box, I think. Um, yeah. Hmm. Right, we're going to play Aquanaut first just because I've got it up. But um, after that, we shall be jumping into Tubber. Right, let's start this thing. I shall uh, just make sure this is working. Yep, and throw us over to the Amigatron. Vision Factory. Are we the people who made the game or a cracking crew? We are proud to present. I don't care. Oop, my fault there. Oh, cool. We've got color cycling, we've got an ornithopter or something. Oh, three sad onions. Oh. Oh yes, hang on, I've got to put the music up a bit. Snorkus non blockum. Well, that's the thing. Set up bloody lemmings. Is it lemmings? People are saying. 
Well, that was the thing that occurred. Section one, two, or three. Well, section one. We don't know. I'm g I'm gonna say it's sounding more Operation Neptune from Garrett's thing, but we'll come on to it. I think I've only played the ST version of the stream, actually, so we might have to find that. Aquanaut. Looking very upset with his knife there because he has no mask on his helmet. Von Kobold Commando? That's... Anyone remember a game on the Terrace T? You had to clear squares and cure an island of a plague thing. That is Archipelagos. Yeah, find a monolith to... Archipelagos. Probably rather than go in. Archipelago. People are saying it correctly. It's Archipelagos. Yeah. Oh my god, that's quite good. Now I feel like I've played this. <laughs> This is the, the the characters looking too big for um, what you described, Garrett. But uh. well, we've been hit. Life support zero. Blisters. Sunk to death by a jellyfish. Right in the tentacles. Hilarious. Yeah, this is kind of crap. Um. This very much does not seem what you like you were after, Garrett. This isn't it, is it? It's quite well animated, this little dude, but the game is now. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm, I'm sure we've played this. I remember that um, death screen. Org! He ran into a shark. You have been skewered by a swordfish. Seafood kebab. Okay. Right. We're going to give up on this one. It's not that one. We are going to go for Operation Neptune. Uh, I'm sure there's an Amiga version. Yes, there is, and I've already found it. Hooray. Pop this in the correct directory, and nothing will ever work properly again. Right. Let's see on this one. Oh, Thunder Jaws. That was one. Oh, I've never played the Amiga version of this. Well, the music was better on ST. What? This is running too fast. Ha! <laughs> this is totally running too fast, is it? Because we're doing it on an A1200. Okay, this is probably considerably too fast for what you'd remember if this was the right game, Garrett, but never mind. Yeah, the music is too fast. Yeah, I'm used to... The ST version was identical because it's all sampled. This is probably just an ST bloody conversion, actually, isn't it? It's infograms. Right, level one. That's good. I'm to get the map up. There we are. The map is that, if I remember. Yep. Yeah. Right, go and blow up a node. No, because we'll hit things on the way. Right, we'll go for that one. That's it. There we are. And we're off. We're off. On autopilot. Where you can't hit things because of reasons. Node activated.
Well, that one does. It drops like a flare or something with dynamite. I can't quite remember how that works. Nearly there, yeah. Yep, we are. Okay, scuba mode now. <laughs> Comically fast. Oh no, there's music here. There wasn't. Oh, there's some bastard. Right, here we are. We've dropped the bomb. Get the fuck out of here. Run away. Yeah, get, get out of the way. I can't remember how to control it. Oof, you're near that when it goes off. It is not good. Well, here we are. We're at the other one now. Hang on. Just to demonstrate it, there's also a shoot mapping bit. This isn't it, says Garrett. Right, not to worry. Seaweed shooting simulator because there aren't the enemies around. But, uh... Can we drop a bomb just directly over? No, I think you do have to go down. Really. This is a decent game, but you don't want it to be running at this speed. Oh shit! He bloody shot it and blew us up. I lost a load of health. We go back to a good guy base now. Ugh! Says Evilton. Oh, we won! Because <laughs> I knew exactly how to be easy very quickly. Everybody loves um, Camp Duck in the 2, though. Especially the uh, Armstrong version. If you lose, the um, Bathosphere here, the Bathoscape, sorry, um, pops up through the water, but it's all like covered in. Um, algae and stuff and it's all raining and the bloke looks sad. I did like this music but played considerably faster than it should be. It's a bit weird. Silence. Right. What what other um, options did we have? The treasure trap is sort of isometric, if I remember, isn't it? Uh, well, we'll look up treasure trap until we can think of the other ones. Return to Atlantis has a scuba section. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? don't know this game. Oh god, that looks a bit primitive. It's a uh, considerably bigger sprite. Hmm. Right, let's get treasure trap up. It ain't going to be that, I don't think, because of, um, quite simply, the uh, isometric view. But you never know. Ooh, Garrett says there's a different game I loved as a kid that was third person behind and used the music from Barracuda's start. Ooh, no idea that one. A lot of games third person behind. Um, Narco Police springs to mind for some reason. Um, right. Treasure trap. Let's reset and go. I just watch the artist on the loop, Dave. That's annoying. Doodlebug designs. Why is everything to do with scuba sounding like lemmings? Alien worlds kind of... Oh, that could be so many things, Garrett. My God. Could be one many Psygnosis games. That was weird. 
screen? Why was there no imagery on the screen? <laughs> Wicked, did you play games on this? Oh no! Yes, because it's not real. We can take as much RAM as we want. No. No, we do not. Oh my god, this really is Batman, isn't it? Except I can't control anything. That's weird. Great. Okay. Maybe it's using the wrong uh, joystick port because it's evil. Let's have a look. No. Don't think it is. Interesting. No, it just kind of... Oh. <laughs> Great! No, nope, not getting anything from that. No controls whatsoever. This is keyboard only or something. That'd be mad. No. Nope. Arrow keys move. Oh, shit! I've got the arrow keys mapped to the key joystick. No wonder that's not working. Hang on. Nope, still not doing anything. Hmm... I have no answer for this. Oh, well. Yeah, this is a fair point. Surely something should be animated, even if you weren't moving. Yeah, that ball should be moving. Maybe the um, weird spiky boy there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe crash because of A1200. This isn't it anyway, is it, Garrett? This is clearly not what you're after. Um, check out Scuba Diver anyway. Why not? We're into a bit of scuba. Not the Atari 2600 version. That would be less good. Scuba Diver is a public domain game. Interesting. Right, let's try it. Reset. Surreal. They've got an eyeball to try you. Not Graham Goldman, Gary Gold. Graphics by his brother. No pirating. Well, this is public domain software. Select diver. Oh, God, which one do I select? I just hit the keyboard. <laughs> select a mission. That one. Set this to any drive. Oh, okay, okay. Remembering what the name is. Scuba Diver, that was it. Sword of so oh God. <laughs> Had the faces of Sword of Sodan. That's a horrible insult. You, sir, have a face like a character from Sword of Sodan. No. Oh, for fuck's sake, third disc? You better recognise DF2. That's some parallax, bloody. Oh, no, part of his boat's gone missing. Oh dear, it's gone missing. There we go. See why this was AGA. This reminds me of just Scuba Dive from the Spectrum, which was actually a pretty good game. Great, I can make some toxic waste. Probably best avoided. 
Fire button doesn't seem to do anything instantly. Yeah, do we have any further clues about the game, Garrett? Meanwhile, if anybody else can find any other scuba diving sort of games, or games with scuba bits. There was a boat where you choose missions or something. And a scuba diving bit. This does feel a bit like a remake of the Spectrum version of Namco's, but to be honest, there's nothing in it. Unless you're supposed to get... Oh, you had to get the clams in that version. Yeah, oh, there we are. Nearly out of energy, so we better go back before we... Oh no! Death has befallen us. But don't worry, there's another diver. Yay, we got 10 quid. Oh, that thing kills you. Is this our boat? I can't tell because of the corruption. We can never go home. Our boat is corrupted. That's pleasant enough for a PD time, wasn't it? Well, we'll be dead soon. Back to now. Oh, please go back. There we are. It was also third person. We only had one view, so going toward the screen was not big. Terrain underwater is about 98% sand, 2% kelp. <laughs> Sounds like an old game. There we are. Jump off now. That was the yeah, The music's great. Yeah, you can get out again. That's not like your energy ever goes up again, right? death fin. Well, he's immune to engines. Right. What was that one? Return to Atlantis. Uh, oh, Return to Atlantis, I think, might be ticking quite a lot of boxes now I'm looking at it. Right. Let's go for it. Hmm. Right. Operation of yes, we um showed it, Enigma. Yeah. Atlantis. Dive. Return to Atlantis entry. Oh my god. Oh blimey. This is gonna be an experience. This may not work on twelve hundred, actually. This game looks ancient. Yep. It's trying to do something weird. Oh, God. Hmm. Hang on. Hang on. I've got a plan here. A cunning plan. Oh, oh, why isn't it? Oh, I'm trying to copy and paste something, it hasn't bloody copied it. There we are. Right. What we're going to do is. Oh, damn, hang on, I have to throw this over. It'll go weird like. Whoop, there we are. If we look at the mighty Lemon Amiga here, this is Mike Wallace's Return to Atlantis. It's got a head. It's got silhouettes. It's got a woman terrified by how vivid her own toenails are. Um, a lot of people talking. Bloke in a fez. Superboat. 
And then scuba. Scuba. All the scoo- oh. I think he's dead in that one. No, he's going into the screen in a confusing manner. Is that in any way familiar? Yes! Hey! <laughs> Victory! Victory! There we are. Thank you to whoever suggested that earlier, because you were clearly spot on. Good work. Yeah, we need to... Yes! Play the success music. Absolutely, Enigma. Really got to play the game now. Right, good. We must now play this game very briefly because it looks kind of bad. Sorry if you remember it well, Garrett, but uh, I'm just going by the screenshots there. It's also a very early Amiga game. As you correctly implied at the start, I should point out, first thing you said is how early it was. You were bloody spot on. Oh my god! And he's done it again! Holy shit, Garrett. That information was clearly worth a lot to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, we're definitely having to go with this. Hang on. I think we've now got this uh, set up. I'm slightly worried this might not even work with the base A500. It's so old. We may have to go back to, like, kickstart 1.0 or some uh, ungodly stuff. I'm going to put the second disc in the second drive. I'm not sure it's going to accept that. but Right, hopefully we should just be able to go straight over to it. Yes! Oh, it's only 1988. Oh, I thought it was a bit earlier than that. Do you know? Well, yeah, I mean, you say only 88, but like, bloody um, A500 was only like 86 or something, wasn't it? Hell, the copyright there was 87. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Atlantis 1. Dive. Continue. Right, should load now, hopefully. The instructions start with boot your Amiga with Kickstart 1.2. Yeah, it is a very A1000 thing. He's the thinnest Agnes. The, the most slight of all the Agnes's mentors. What's happening? Electronic Arts! Fuck it hell. That's an early boy for them. Dave, do you seriously need a soundbar? So I might be able to help with that. Genuinely. Game conceived and crafted by Mike Wallace. Or as he's known to his friends, Mike Mollusk. How do you connect to it, Dave? Are you doing Bluetooth or um, optical or... Hell, Com uh, just bloody composite that cable. Or standard audio camera, I'll show you what you would call it, composite video. Right. Space bar to continue. Damn straight. It landers me up, baby. Have you created your ID disc yet? Fuck. No, I haven't. Name. Goon will do. Age. 31. Um, does it make any difference? 
I'm gonna say female, see if it makes any difference in the game. Oh, here we are, pick a strength. Telepathy? Fuck, got a bloody Jedi here. Now we're talking. Um, awareness, okay. Psychology, hmm, this fish looks upset. Um, weapons, we need more weapons. Is this character okay? Oh, I've got, I've got to make a blank disc. Right, hang on, this won't take long. Um, Atlantis save. Fortunately, they have this. Um, just very handily about. Atlantis save. Right. Just got to put that in the drive. You cannot write if I'm doing. Oh, hang on, I'm over. Right protect on. No, I don't. Right protect isn't on, mate. There's a WH Delo. Seriously? Ah, oh, I totally forgot about that. Here we are. It's at volume one. It's happening. Mind you, WH loads rarely work properly, especially when save games are involved. So perhaps we would better stick to this. Done. Billy Missile, that's a name. Please, uh, okay. I'm going to put this in the second drive and see if that does actually help. Goon will do, three sad audiences from Archer's Goon. Archer's Goon. Ooh, look at that. Welcome to the Foundation, Goon. I am pleased to see you graduate from the Academy with your specialty and weapon. If your performance is superior and you survive, you shall have the opportunity to return there in the future to master other disciplines. Ugh. As you were told on the day of your arrival here at base on the island of Isla Perdida, we knew of your existence long before inviting you to join the Foundation as an agent. Your skills are sure, your character strong. Thank you. And you have completed your training with distinction. But you have not been told of the purpose for which you were recruited. And the path before you is not a simple one. The sea and the land are approaching the storm of darkness. Uh-oh. The conflict which rises like a tide and sweeps all manner of beings before it. Be they of water or of earth. Before you are done with the tasks I give you, Goon, you will win and lose a world. In that, your fate is sealed. Okay. Do not depend solely on your skill in telepathy. I don't have much skill in telepathy. narrow path will only trap you in the reef of shrouded souls. Nor should you neglect your studies of weapons. One day, I assure you, it will save your life. Come with me now into the briefing room. You are already needed far away in our battle for the sea. Blimey. We know who Very rarely use Amiga Say come out. And your desire that all living beings be allowed to live in peace in their environments. I had hoped that the first mission upon which I sent you would be a simple one. An act of unity with the sea. I regret that it cannot be so. This folder See, will It explain. was a good idea to shove the pitch right down and have it as a weird disembodied semi computer. God knows what it is. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Treasure is not your most important goal. Only we know the thoughts of the seekers. Yet there are others who have somehow sensed the goal. Can I get some gold or something? For themselves. They have already killed three times in their attempts. The bastards. They have eyes where only we had eyes. And hands in places which only we could touch. Sounds like we got a mole. The Foundation cannot tolerate such interference from those hostile to the Morian ecosystem. Yeah. Deny them the treasure and report to me their forums. I entrust you to the sea. Anyway, bye. Also, it is Karen's birthday, Tuesday. 
would you like to donate towards a cake? Um, can we see dancing neon toenail lady, please? Hello. Hello. Oh no, they all talk. It's nice to see you here. Okay, it doesn't work quite so well with her. Bribe, plead, threaten. Yes. Ilya says that Uncle Snatch win are again in the Caribbean. That is just the way he talks. He is a quiet man and is like a father to me. Okay. How do we leave? Five, oh, bribe five, please. Goodbye. You shall remain in my thoughts. Good. Return safely. Because the nice thing about the say command is it does say your name. Old wise woman, tell us truths. Oh, that face is brilliantly drawn, I will say. Hello, Beery. You are looking very nice today. Thank you. Yes. Ah, these people lose millions of dollars of gold. I use the onion when I want to chop it for my soup. With gold, I would be far more careful. Goodbye. <laughs> so, dear, you are leaving. Well, come back and see us soon. Okay. The shapeless mass. Welcome, Boon. It's got the same voice as the blue man group. Something is happening, yes, I agree. Something which we should not wish to find. Yet, I doubt I will dissuade you from the search. Am I correct? Fate? I'm not sure that is Rhys. No, I don't think I have. Yes, I'm still going. If you return later in your travels, perhaps I will have learned more. I am Mohammed Bajat al Ewa, and it is a pleasure to have met you. Goodbye. May all I guide you safely on your journey. Cheers. Right. I've got to speak to Fezman. Faces are bloody good, aren't they? Hello, Goon. It is good to see you. Bloody hell, if his voice is any lower, it would be an earthquake. If he doesn't respond to yes. Or no. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goon. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> That's the worst conversation ever. Go on, that was the man sitting on a rock or something. Oh, no, it's a salty old sea dog and his salty old sea dog. Now, if it isn't Goon, the onion who's out to conquer the world. Okay. Oh. He is also a non-talker. Goodbye. Hi, friend. So you'll be going? May the winds blow gentle at your back and the seas return you home again. Okay, something's happening. Ooh, we're drawing a knob on the blackboard. Oh no, wait, that's our motion, that's our travel. Okay. God, I made a front end for the Amiga Say Command in Amos. It did a lot of other things, that front end. Unfortunately, I can't remember all the commands for it now, or I would um, look it up. But... That 
was a weird route, but okay. Ooh. Landing sequence complete. I have a message for you. RUF unit deployed. Okay, how do we read the message? Do we wander over here? Hello, Goon. Good to see you again. I have a message for you. You are smell. Message, please. Message from Artyom. That was a very pleasant flight for me. Goon, I hope you enjoyed it too. This is the area where the Tristeza sank in 1579. Once you find the wreck itself, the probability that the treasure will lie somewhere nearby is over 93%. The reliability of such an observation is based upon the superior quality of my scanners, which are the most advanced and sensitive yet designed anywhere in the world. They give me the ability to detect the slices of variations in the unseen landscape at great distances. Yeah, stop blowing your trumpet, mate. Bloody hell. Remember that rough... Two is ready to rough and ready is ready to help you in any way he can. Many situations would be too dangerous for a human diver. A perfect opportunity for rough to utilise his investigative skills, not to mention his courage, to help complete our mission. Thank you, computer. Hang on, we should do a scan. That sounds like an, an addition, Arcturus. There is nothing new to report at this time. Or an extension, as they call them. Scan! Whoop! There was a fishy boy. Oh, I see. So it's scan here. Here we are. Oh, you have to draw like a box. Okay. Ooh, I wish. Ah, uh, here we are. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Scan this area, please. We've got 105 seconds. Scan. We found greenies. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But we scanned. Status, please. All good. Dum, da, dum. Let's check some gear. I'll bet this had a manual an inch thick. I'll bet. Can Garrett um, confirm or deny that? Available tools, current meeting. I'll have that. Except I can't for reasons. Indicates present direction of current. Oh, well, can't have it for some reason. Okay. Don't think we need the health pod thing yet. Oh, shit! We have dove. Oh, blimey. Whatever's going on? Rough. Cam. R rough, stop the cam. Swim. I'm really not sure what's going on here. I seem to have lost control. Because the amount of energy. Oh, hang on. Something happened. Oh, no, he's doing something. I think he's just doing what I told him to, and it takes a while. I think the ground is 3D, yeah. Like Draken. Going well considering he's got no energy. Looks like the crabs are like robots firing knives or something. 
Right, I'm clearly got to do something here, which I can't do anything because I can't control anything. Oh, escape has paused it, right. Thank you for helping dig this up. It was feeling like nobody knew this had ever existed, given my luck elsewhere. You are most welcome, Garrett Arcane. And thank you for the twiddlies, bloody hell. Oh. Can we move again yet? No. Can we joystick it? No. Hmm. No, big thanks to whoever came up with this in chat, because uh, I was not aware of this game. Yeah, we don't get the text-to-speech often, actually. I use that Indian one purely because it's more convincing than the others. Oh, we're back! We're back! Armed. Surface. Commencing diver pickup operations. We will not show you this. It's not for your eyes. Air tanks refilled. Sweet. Let's go and check the status. Hello, Goon. Good to see you again. Health 63%. Ooh. I've been injured by stuff. Energy is used for power tools, says Retaro Leg. Oh, okay. Med beam ready for activation. Whoop. There we are. We are healed. Thank you, med beam. Can we go to the radar at the end? Is that a different uh, thing? I don't like this method of walking around and rather than just clicking on things because it's very slow. No, it doesn't do anything, that. This name is, uh, oh god, Return to Atlantis, locators of Sunnydale. Right, it's going to bring up the scan from last time. It is, oh look, because we've looked around this area. Is there a way we can move? Base, are you ready to end this mission? No. Hmm. It's awkward because I don't really understand how to um, get to places. I tell you what, we should probably stop this now. But before we do, I want to see what happens if you just give up. Well, I went down and it was a bit wet, so I came back. <laughs> Sparrow the Dragon says, I guess back in the day you'd play this the same way we play Civilization. Yeah, get well into it. Oh, Garrett gifting a sub to Ruby Red there, bless you. Right. Base, yes. Oh, we need, we need our ID diskette so it can be deleted and burned <laughs> due to our cowardice. We'll give it a second. Give it a second. There we are. You are the 101st Dalmatian. Okay, yeah, that, that, that is a thing I can do. Apparently you need to find a treasure chest, scan it first, then beam it up, and I can shoot the crab bots. Yeah, I'm not sure how. I think you have to put the arm thing. Oh no, it just throws us back to the menu. I thought the blue face would tell us off. Episode 1, The Golden Galleon. Oh, hang on. You know, the well the ideals for which you enjoy in the foundation. No, it has gone back to the... And your desire that all living beings be allowed to live in peace in their environments. 
Uh, tragically, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, I hope we would get told off by the blue head and be like, you are a coward and you have brought shame to the school of the blue face. You must be buried under kelp or something. I don't know. Your flippers will be sold on eBay and the proceeds given to a rancid dog. Right. That was well, pretty bloody interesting, actually. I imagine if you... I can totally see how you could get into that if you had the manual and the time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you want to... Arxy said, shut up, Zordon. You are being told off the text is different. Uh, is it? I'd hope the first version which I sent you would be a simple one. No, this is the same, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, hang on. I had hoped that the first mission upon which I sent you would be a simple one. An act of unity with Yes, yeah, it's the same. I regret that it cannot be so. This folder will explain. Yeah. Okay, Doc. Right. Uh... I suppose now we'd better close all this down, actually, get the A1200 ready for the assassins afterwards. I'll tell you what, let's have a quick advertisement break first. But not actually an advertisement break, just loads of ads from years ago, which are useless and smell. Don't buy any of these products, so they probably don't exist anymore. Right, I shall see thee in five minutes or so. But until then, uh, here are some ads, I believe, from the 1990s. Broke out. You're not bad, are you, Butch? Oh, yeah. He just found out. At least now we know who's in charge. A perfect world. You're not on the scrounge again. Look, I just want a body of energizers. You're having a laugh. You know it took me ages to get them back the last time. Oh, go on. I know they last longer than ordinary SP batteries, but I do want them back. I know. Can I finish, mate? No, you don't have to go on. I can afford to go on. I've got energizer batteries. Energizer. Longer, 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 longer lasting batteries. Let's party! Oh, yeah! Whoa, baby! Do the shimmy! Get down! New Pictionary Party! Now both sides can play at once! What's the number one dance album? I've got the power! It's the number ones of dance! For the first time, 20 great number ones on one fantastic single album! The number ones of dance! All number ones, all classics! This is jam hot, jam hot. Call 0891 80 80 80. One plus one gets you together. why Purcell gets the dishes so very clean. No, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Well, the Purcell grips the grease, and it holds it in the water so it can't get back on the plate. You see? No. Run me through that again. See? No. No. Well done, Billy. Purcell washing oh. up liquid. Grips grease for good. <laughs> I've been asked to test Radeon Micro Plus. They say it tackles the most difficult horrible stains. Sounds great. Just hope it's true. Well, you can't get a better clean than that. Colour's great, and it smells pretty good too. Let's have the ball, John. Get more out. Put Radeon in. The block knows I'm completely stuffed without Hall's menthalyptus, as well as soothing eucalyptus. 
they've got a fantastic menthol vapor action. Just allow one to dissolve slowly in your mouth. And it'll breeze through your nose block in no time. They're available in four flavors, all with fantastic vapor action. Watch out for the uh, extra strong ones. We've made a few changes since we had a Thomas Cook at Greece. Before you go anywhere, take a Thomas Cook at our 11% discount. So, how's your new girlfriend? Oh, you'll see her. She'll be here soon. And you're eating onion? Yeah, I love them. She's going to love your onion breath. Doesn't matter. I've got double mint. After you eat, have some double mint. Double mint, double fresh. For that moment of double freshness, just when you need it. Double mint, refreshes your breath. You know, I do my part to help the environment. I put all my empty Holston pills in the uh, bottle bank. Every month I get a statement. All sugar turns to alcohol. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, on with the recycling. Oh no, there were fewer ads than I thought. <laughs> that was a bloody short one. Ah, oh. crikey! Right, um, hang on. Ah, oh. tangled up in me uh, headphone wire. Right then. Oh god. Oh my god, cassava. That's that's a bloody reference from the past. Christ, nosy bonk spinning the stig and lort bread. From, from old Hong King Dong. God, died recently, didn't he? Poor sod. Right, anyway. The time has come for this. Oh, hell yes. The Assassins. Discs of randomness. Oh, with the new music. Look at that. We've done all these. Hang on. We must be on 211. Bloody hell. How time flies when you're assassinating. Actually, I'm going to check we are on 211 before I load it up. Uh, 211 is Mini Dash, Happy Monster and Domingo. Mmm, I feel we played those, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. Pretty sure we did. Hmm. Yeah, all right. We'll load up the menu quickly, but... Um, in fact, it was actually quicker to load the menu up than it was to <laughs> look it up. It's just occurred to me, but never mind. No sound. It'll kick in. Probably kick in. This one. There we are. Yeah, Mini Dash, Berserker, Shootout, and Domingo. There we are. Yeah. Right. Yes, I do still need to play one of the, the Berserker shootout on an A500. That is true. And I just closed the A500 emulator we had set up for Return to Atlantis. So that is incredibly annoying. Um, new music. Yeah, Ruby Red. Well, they've used this a couple of times now, but it took them four billion discs to actually get us, Eddie. So. Right, I'm going to reload up the A500. This might mess up the capture, unfortunately, but we shall see. That's my version of this music. <laughs> That's the something Dan Tomlinson would do. Right. right. Uh, let's have a quick pop over. Is this going to work? Oh, yes. Straight in. Yeah, we don't have an Assassin's Commander. I'm not sure what it'd say.
Right, Berserker shootout. Spreadsheet. Ah, it's Exclaim Amiga. Exclaim Amiga is the one you're after. Yep, there we are. Is this loading? Yes, it is. Oh, it's decompacting. I see the mouse wibble. This is the trading level of game I might make. Spoilers. I don't think he ever did. Shoot as many red targets as you can. White ones will deduct points. Herbal flurbal flurb. Right. Shoot red target to the left button. Oh, I d we did we play this at the right speed? I think we did. Yeah, it was too quick, but I think we did go back and play at 0500. Yeah. Did we judge it? Is it on the spreadsheet? I've forgotten what the game's called. That does not help us. Um, oh, wait, it's up on the 1200. Berserker Shootout. Berserker. No, we have not rated it. Oh. Hmm. That's annoying. Have we actually rated any of the ones from last week? Have we made an administrative error? Let's check with Domingo. Yes, we've done that. Maybe I didn't play it on A500. It doesn't seem much slower. That's that's the reason I... Uh, hmm. Well, oh well. No reason to not continue. Yeah, it isn't any bloody slower. One there. That's it, isn't it? If I remember, no. Score forty-eight percent. Did better last time. Got sixty-three, if I remember. And Nemesis Paradox. Thank you for your raid there. Bless you. Right. Uh, mm, that surprises me. I would have thought that would have been that was running too fast, frankly, but no. Well, I suppose if that's all there is to your game, <laughs> you've got to get through it pretty quickly. Well, that's that's a solid two if ever there was one. Why does he have seaweed on his legs? Well, they're the only things holding his calves together. Um, yes, I think that's what happened, Miko Kasai. I think we didn't have enough time. We were like, oh, we'll do it next time. So we did, and it wasn't any bloody slower. God. Right, uh, where are we? Let's pick one of the twos, one of the higher twos, probably. A tissue. Oh, no, it's not as good as a tissue, but... It's probably not as good as Death Rings from Space. Oh, it's probably better than Bebop and Drop, because that was awful. It's better than Vola. Oh, oh there's Defend... Oh, it's not as good as Obladox. Right, going in behind Vola, Hola, Wola, and... Obladox. 211. Berserker shoot out. Simple target shooting practice game with. Um, hmm. Moogle Mania's haiku review. Shoot red and make dead. It's only a demo, though. Not much point, is there? No, there isn't. Um, hmm. Tell you what, what is the French company that released After the War and Satan and games like that? Because it reminds me, or the character reminds me of something from that. Yes, the haikus have returned. Stronger than my Dynamic, thank you. Yep. With dynamic looking character. There we are. Do, do, do. Right, we better go back over to the 1200 then and swap discs. Ooh, well, swap discs first, actually. Disky, disky, swap o. Please, sir, may I have disc 212? Apparently, we may. <gasps> More new music!
hundred discs like there's nothing and then oh. This is a very different sort of piece of music for them, isn't it? Leator says such assassination music. Yeah. It's going to be a very uh, chilled assassination today. Right. Gamma Zone. Loading. Oh, look at that. Arrow, a little f disc flying into a memory chip. That's, that's a thing. Amazon wonky manga faces. My anime is melting. Um, looks a bit Jim X, doesn't it? Right. This is assassination music. Yes. To level code and got none. Load level one. Thank you. Get on with it. So excited. Can't wait for some whatever the hell this game was action. Get ready. Get ready for our weirdly staccato techno. You little red hairy boy, pick up your diplomas. How else will you get your degree? Message to Coda. One key to every door. Great. One key to every door. Welcome to Gamma Zone. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, I see how this works. Right. I've got two, which means I can get a key. So this is all about choosing which door to open properly. So I can now open the golden one. Oh shit, which one's the gold one? Is that the gold one? No. Is Electricity Boy the gold one? Yes. Now I've got red key. I may not have planned this correctly or at all. And what does red key open? Yes. Now we get stripey, except I can't go through. There we go. Oh, that's a different stripey boy. Okay. Now I've got two coins. There we are. Oh my god, we're nearly out of time! Shit, son! Oh, we're gonna burn! I can't get through. He gets trapped in the bloody doorways! Time out. Blimey. Who's a spicy boy? No, we don't have time for this. Fuck off. Right. Red key. Ah, oh, paddock. Open all the things. Which one does red key open? This one. Ah, ah. Oh, guess we know this. Shut up. Yes, acid fields. Okay. Got the little zoom forward he does is lethal. Shield. I'm not picking up that message. We ain't got time for this, gubbins. 
quickly, get the heart. I don't know how it'll help. We've got 30 seconds. Fuck. Probably shouldn't have ended this place. No, I'm stuck again. Oh. Right. Six coins. Oh, it's just a coin. Oh. Do the keys just open any door? No, they don't. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on. No! Oh god, this <laughs> is to go to acid fields. It gives us all the wrong messages every time. It's very odd. Right, so, pick up that one, then that one. Okay, we need the red key, I think. So, yes, right, got a plan. Switches! Keys! Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Well, that's one way, the other way. Look. Well, we're not getting out here. Oh, you don't have time, much time for those. Look at that. Oh, shit, these are all cracked. Oh! What?! Silence. Um, uh, that's my noise. Let's get the spooky music up again. I managed to sort of spoil. Oh, no, I'll leave the music on actually. Um, I managed to sort of spoil themselves with that one, didn't they? Hmm. Give me a low three, I reckon. Basically, because it's all about running about. That could have been a much... That could have been, like, Chip's challenging. That could have been hitting, like, bloody high threes and fours, maybe. Yeah. The QIP emote comes from a game called Hunter. Simmons Dude. Excellent Atari ST and Amiga game that uh, we uh, streamed in the early days. It has a 3D RIP thing, but it looks more like QIP due to font. Right, goes in between Mastermind version 1.3 and Billy the Dragon. <laughs> of course it does. Turn to 12, that was uh, Gamma Zone. No hats, uh, nice chips. Challenge alike. Getting stuck in doorways and insane time limit in capitals. There we are. Moogle Mania's haiku review. One key to each door. Unless it's coins or something. Stuck in the door? Die! Yeah, that's about it. Whoa! Silent Kevin! What the fuck? Phone caught fire in your pocket. Third degree burns down your leg inside. Holy shit! Hell, that's monstrous. Good God! Well, I hope your burns are bloody heal all right, you poor sod. Christ! Uh, can you tell us what maker phone that was so we can avoid it as well? Because that's absolutely terrifying. Christ! Six-year-old heavily used Sony Xperia battery degrade and went off while in town. Oh God! The irony was I was walking to the shopping centre to upgrade my phone. Oh, 
<laughs> Bloody hell. Whew. Right, let's play Ooze. It's the only thing that make it better. Sorry, that won't make your leg better, mate, but uh, best of luck. I'm glad you're in having it sorted. Oh my god, that is a fault. This is going to be atoms, isn't it? Again. This music sounds random and is awful. I'm trying to enter my name, but you're not letting me. Please enter your name, player one. Don't allow any button presses. Oh, you have to delete it all first! Ha! Daxrod! Oh, gifting a sub to Silent Kevin. Bless you. There we are. Do for Goon versus Shark Man. Goon will do. There we go. Oh, it's not Atom, is it? Or is it Atoms where you have a corn? No. What? Oh, it's one of these. God, like that bloody puzzle in the seventh guest. Oh, what? Shit, son. Oh, no. God, whatever you do, you're bloody screwed. Ooh, that's a definitive game over. Infection. Is that another Amiga version? I don't recall it. Mm, it's a bit like Othello, but not massively. Ma oh no, here's one where you can't go in certain squares. Because fuck you for playing. Oh, oh I didn't mean to go there. Bugger. Well, that's game over already. <laughs> ah! Ah, those ones are strong. They cannot be beaten. Shit. Infection like that. Oh, no, Ray vaguely rings a bell with the up to four players, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I can't go. What do you do if you can't go? You must live in horror. Oh, no, you can jump! But jumping does not create a new one. No, I can't even jump. I can't spread. Bloody hell, the computer's a bit good at this. It is like the seventh guest. Can you just teleport anywhere? No, it does have to be in a line. Or just quite close. Nope. Hmm. Suboptimal. Uh, no, I'm generally. Oh, no, I can. I don't think I can go now, can I? Oh, yes, I can. I can go directly from here. Bloody hell. Uh. Well, that's fun. Right. Not terrible. And it's very nicely presented, apart from the music, which is awful. Uh. Right. I'm, I'm going to have to stop this. That's, that's absolutely awful. Right. Uh, also, I forgot what the game was called. That's handy. Ooze, that was it. Right. Hmm. Like atoms, but 
similar. Uh, well, it's better than Crazy Pipes 2. Um, oh, God, some bloody bad. Uh, Also, this may have inspired infection, Amiga's going, bloody hell. Well, he did a better job, from what I can hear. Um, hmm. Right, it's going above Magnetron for a three, and below Crave. Relatively mid three. One, two, two. Ooze. No hat. Infection. But not as good. Two player only CPU option. There we are. Haiku review from Moogle Mania. Angry loud music. We're in a blob eat blob world. Ooze winning? AI. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Even a bit of... Um, Societal commentary in that one, maybe. Take the money. Now, ver this is a massive disappointment to me, because on the website that lists all these, they'd accidentally written this name as Take the Monkey. And I fancied that a lot more than Take the Money, but there we are. Let's have a look. Up, play, down, level editor. This looks weirdly familiar, actually. Yay. I took the bunny, now what do I do? Shit, how do I get background? Oh. Shit. Oh, right, let's look in the menu. Oh, there is no menu. Shit. He's got a menu bar active, but no menu. I'm sure one of these buttons quits. Couldn't tell you which it is. And I'm not sure I want to know. Yet another Boulder Dash game. In a weird little window. And I don't like it. What is our highest? We've got 22 Boulder Dash entries. Um, Boulder Dash Royal Collection. Which is a high three. A very high three is our best one. The one that you can switch to C64 graphics, if you can remember that. Uh, Gold Russia isn't far behind. Roboldix is directly below Gold Russia. Interesting. Running. Oh, yeah, that was that was all right. Boulder Dash Collection 2. That Boulder Dash Collection 2 is really good, but the menu was so bad you could barely start the bloody game. Yeah, it's better than Boulder Dash. Um... Oh, God, this isn't as good as any of these. Baldur's Grove is better. God, Blue Diamonds, I can barely remember. Um, excellent Baldur's with insane level design. Yes. Oh, it's better than that. It's not as good as Baldur's Grove, though. There we are. Um, right, it's going in above. Oh, my God, it's only... Holy shit, it's only bloody um, one space away from Gamma Zone. It goes, it's going to go, um, whatever the hell is, take the money, then Mastermind version 1.3, then Gamma Zone. I don't think I've ever had that before. Right. Take the money. Let me get my title case right. Take the money. Three. Is he wearing a hat? That's not hair, is it? That's a bloody hat, folks. Hat 
confirmation. Hat confirmation. I repeat, hat confirmation. We've done it. That's not the hat. That's not a hat at all. Is this the hat? Yes. Um, an update to Stream Deck has messed a load of my icons up. It did fix a problem, but it oh, okay. Hmm. So, according to Omega Square, all the public domain iterations of Infection, whether they call that or not, all have their origins in an unreleased commercial game from 1989, itself called Infection, which went on to be reworked into various other games, including Spot on the Amiga and a certain mini game in the Seventh Guest. Little article about it on Hall of Light. Well, bloody hell. Yeah, I'm 100% on that being a hat, by the way. You look, you can see where it sits on the head and it's green. Yep, yep, totally. Right. His mouth is grey, though. That will make your teeth turn grey. Right. Yay for hat. Um, Boulder Dash. Very fast. Small screen. Not very good. But at least levels not insane. Sorry. But that's what makes it his level design is not mad. There we are. Whew. Moogle Mania's Haiku Review. Dash all my boulders. We've seen it better before. Out of jokes for these. <laughs> Drawing numbers in the desert sand. Oh. <laughs> right, enough. That'll do us for today. What are we on next time? On the Ass Ass Inns. We will be doing Mana. Rueda 1.3e, that's quite specific, and Dame. Hmm, interesting. It's a game called Mech Fighter on 214, which sounds exciting, but might end up just being a bloody SEZK game. And terrifyingly, Assassin's Disc 215 as Mash the Potato. And Cybertris, that sounds familiar. And a version of Super Battle Zone. Hmm, interesting. We've got some great games coming up. Age of Rock, Mangled Fenders, Doctor Strange. I think I know Doctor Strange. I thought that was a commercial game. There. There's a sequel if it's one thing. Laser Bike, Steel Devils, Tetris. Right. <laughs> Nano Fly. Oh, I've played Nano Fly. Fucking hell. Dynamite Warriors 2 does appear. Oh, that's good. Dynamite Warriors 2 is amazing. That's the one where they put all the options in. Oh. Right. Anyway, folks. Ah, we should end on Dave's song. No, we've had Dave's song, I'm afraid. We can't have it twice. That makes him too powerful. He breaks out of his cage and uh, takes chunks out of other streams with his teeth. Terrifying. Ah. Uh. Christ mentis. I, I went through a period um, of sitting up all bloody night at the weekends when I was a teenager and that's that's the only reason I know about things like passengers um, oh God, I'm trying to think of those other late night programs the James Whale radio show um, God they used to have American Gladiators on didn't they the weirdest thing I may have mentioned this before was that one time when I was listening to... I think I had the radio on, actually, because everything on telly was shite. And I fell asleep, and I got a bloody sleep paralysis. And um, actually had, like, the weird... Um, oh, you're sort of awake, but you're not, and you can't move. And I had, like, the apparition of, like, this grey, bloody woman's face hanging over me. Which, while startling, I knew wasn't real. It didn't, like, perturb me in that sense. I didn't think, oh my god, it's a spooky ghost or something. I knew it was some sort of sleepy thing, you know what I mean? Because it didn't feel right. And sort of woke up and shook it off and was like, oh my god. But I'd never heard anything about it. And there's a days before the internet, so you couldn't look it up. It didn't worry me greatly. Then the next week on the late night programmes, they were interviewing a load of Canadians. I don't know why it was Canadians or why I remember that, but that's what it was. Um, all about um, sleep paralysis. And they were saying about sleep paralysis demons. Now, one of them had seen, oh, yeah, old woman. Oh, that's a common one. Yeah, it's just your face, make, or your brain making faces, etc. And it's like, oh, 
Well, that was handy. If they hadn't have magically shown that the next week, I'd have been bloody years before I'd find out about that. You know. Uh, oh my God, the chicken song from Spitting Image. Fucking hell, what Tom Knight 59. That would fit well. The problem is, probably get done for bloody copyright, which we might do with, oh God, a big black bird. Somehow that's worse, Dr. Gonzo. I don't know. Um... So, tonight's all-new song is actually a good one. And I thought, you know, it kind of fits. And we've never had it on stream before, so we're going to bloody have it. There is a potential problem. And the old buck rabbit sings. Knock it up, pajama! The dodeo. All the dogs crack, crack, crack. The cows all moo. The bull does too. Everyone says, How do you do? Down on Jollity Farm. And the only reason we uh, have recordings of those is they run a show called Do Not Adjust Your Set. Mm. Uh, so for people who know the Bonzos there, I'm picking up the fact that that was pre-recorded backing, but Viv's vocals were fresh. Am I correct in this, do you think? Mm. 
My God, Mentos, have you seen the weirdest video? Viv Stanchel playing an arcade with one hand whilst looking into a mirror, whilst Christopher Biggins looks on, all whilst being interviewed by a young Toya Wilcox putting on an atrocious Cockney accent. What? That sounds absolutely mad. <laughs> what? I was just trying to imagine that, and frankly, it's quite frightening. Oh, dear. Oh, Gamara, our very own Beardy Viking, often shows um, Innes Book of Records, I believe. Yeah, yeah, cocaine is definitely not the original vocals, but all the backing was identical. And also, they weren't playing several of the instruments, which is another bit of a giveaway. So, uh, yeah. Rhinocratic Oaths. Oh, my God. Did they? That's one of my favourites. They ever do run Craig Oaths. Uh, this is a big problem with the Bonzo Dog Band, unfortunately, is um, all their crazy costumes and that are sometimes bad. Uh, there's several, like, um, uh, performances where one of them is literally blacked up. And you're like, yeah, that ain't fucking happening. Um, which is a massive shit. Um, and ruins, you know, playing an awful lot of their music, unfortunately. Uh, bloody hell. Bloody 60s. Right, anyway. Oh, the intro and the outro. Classic Simmons. I'd only play that if they actually had all the original people in it, though. <laughs> Oh, there's no such thing as two retro bubblegum bunny. We'll do bloody um, Gregorian chant if you want. Oh, Mega Square says, Funny little parallel here with the talk of sleep paralysis and strange late night television. Before Chris Morris made Blue Jam, he had an idea for an audio only TV show that would go out in the wee small hours, ostensibly after close down on BBC Two. The screen would go black, there would be silence, and after a while, a voice would say, Are you still out there? Let's have a little story. He was going to get Viv Stanchel to do a spooky, funny monologue. Sadly, it never came off. Oh, bloody hell. Moogle Mania's found the Viv Biggins Wilcox video. Right, I'm, I'm looking that up later. Viv Biggins Wilcox. The greatest of all heavyweight boxers. Right. That'll do. Ooh. <laughs> It's not a fire craden, it's just a succubus that lives in the basement of the school. Right, enough of this. We must end. Who have we... Oh, God, it's much later than usual, so we may have different people on. We can raid. I used to like it when you used to be able to search for people with no bloody viewers and raid them, which just doesn't happen now. Um, -bum. Brutal Moose is on. Windows 98 variety stream. Ooh, that's tempting. Dr. CDCS is playing Diablo 2. Beardy is on with its Kevin. Um, oh, that's pretty good. What is uh, what was Brutal Moose going on the second? Oh, some sort of weird-ass flight simulator. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, we do, we're having some of that. Right. Take care, folks. Thank you very much for coming along. I shall hopefully see you on Sunday. I'm not sure what we're doing on Sunday yet, but I'll know when we do it. I don't really know what else to say for that. Right, take care, folks. I'll hand you over to Brutal Moose in really ten of your Earth seconds. Cheers and goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, this happened before. Brutal Moose doesn't accept raids. <laughs> Shit, I need to make a note of this. <laughs> That actually happened like a stream or two ago, didn't it? Oh, God. Right. Oh, good stuff, Mentus. Need more details of that later. Oh, incidentally, uh, while we're here, if any of you are local to the uh, Norwegian area, uh, we've got a bit of a Kickstarter kicking off tomorrow you might be interested in for a new establishment. So keep an eye on the Twitters and things. Hmm. Uh, the Raid Imminent video, Cinnamon Robin, is coming from... Uh, uh, oh, God, what's it called? Top Secret? No, no. Oh, God. Which one is it? There's so many of these bloody spoofs. Uh, it is Hot Shots Part Dieu. Hot Shots Part Dieu, I believe. Yeah. Right. Uh, actually, I think I can send you a link. People who are interested in this. Uh, 
Hang on, I've got a bloody find out where. Oh, God. Hang on, I know the best way of doing it. There we are. Shove that in your links. Oh, it's Loaded Weapon 1, is it? Oh, I thought it was Loaded Weapon 2. Oh. No, I didn't. I thought it was Hot Shots Party. What am I talking about? Hot Shots Party is Charlie Sheen, and this is Emilio Estevez. I've got me Estevezes mixed up. <laughs> there we are. Also, don't forget, One Life Left, uh, the um, Norfolk Showground-based um, big old gamey sort of eventy thing is coming up in April, if you are wishing to travel and see such things. But we shall talk more about that on Sunday, where I may even have... Wait for it. Some free tickets. Or I might not. I'm not sure it's working yet. Anyway. I shall see you soon, folks. And we shall be raiding. Um, oh, God. What are we going to do? We're stuck between two. Let's raid Beardy. He's doing some comedy. That's always nice. Right. Let me set this up. Sorted. Take care, folks. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.